hope you know the invocation prayers uh, you can you know along with me you can chant them if not you can just listen that also fine okay om ajnanati mirandhasya gnananjana shalakaya chakshur unmilitam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha namaum vishnu padaya krishna prishthaya bhutale shrimate bhakti vedanta swami niti namine namaste saraswate deve gauravani pracharine nirvishesha shunyavadi paschat desha tarine जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जय अद्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जय श्री अद्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जय अद्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय मुखम करोति वाचालं पंगु लंगयते गिरी यत्तमहम वंदे श्रीगुरु दीनतारिण परमाधव श्री चैतन्य ईश्वर श्री श्री राधा मदन मोहन जी की जय श्री प्रभुपात की जय so actually why we chant this invocation prayers because we are trying to do something good by discussing about this mind topic and etc so we want the blessings of all our seniors all the saints all the great people so that we can have this discussion in a very you know empowering and fruitful way and we should always have the gratitude because whatever knowledge we have right whatever we are able to discuss hear understand and implement in our life it is because so many people have contributed for that just like the knowledge that we generally get right we get from the scriptures we get from the books we get from our elders so through their experience through their knowledge they actually transfer everything to us and many times we don't pay for this knowledge just like today is also a free session right so you are not going to pay anything for it yeah but if we are interested if we are investing our consciousness and our time and energy then yeah it will be worth so before we begin any session we do this invocation so that we want to share gratitude uh, today especially this whatever topic i am going to share so i have gathered knowledge from many different people uh, i have little experience you know the personal experience of implementing these things and i have learned certain things through my life right we all learn from our life but the major part uh, major part is something which i learned from uh, his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhupad who is the founder acharya of international society for krishna consciousness and his disciples and their disciples and many great speakers and you know great thinkers who have given us the knowledge so based on what they have shared what i have observed what i have experienced and what i learned from many other people all together i'm trying to share something today so the topic mind is a very very big subject right many actually doesn't know what is mind okay so they use this word in a different context like you know sometimes we say that you know this guy lost his mind right so no one can lose their mind but what we refer by saying that the person has lost mind okay he lost the proper intentions or the proper stability of how to behave like that right sometimes we say like you know do you mind if i do like this so that means are you getting offended or will you get offended if i do like that so in different context we use it and sometimes the western philosophers or even the scientific people they say like you know when they refer to the greatest scientist so they will say like you know einstein or newton they were the greatest minds that human history has seen right so sometimes they refer the whole person as a mind right so but what is exactly mind and uh, 
why it is important to learn about it and what is the nature of that mind so these are some things which we'll try to explore on that and what will happen if you don't learn about this mind right and what will happen if you learn about it and implement the teachings okay how better your life can be all of these things we'll try to focus on so this session will be around about you know minimum 1 hour and after that based on the question and answer it may extend up to maybe in another 15 20 minutes like that so now it is uh, 7:45 so till 8:45 uh, i'll try to share okay now definitely uh, you have joined this session uh, out of your own will right out of your free will but your mind or your consciousness may not allow you consistently focus on this session okay it may take you to think about what all happened throughout this day what all happened throughout this month week or an year or all that life that you have passed and sometimes it may ask you to think about what is going to happen after this and sometimes it gives you so many questions like you know will i be able to understand is it worth or not so so many things will be keep coming in your mind you'll be thinking about so many other things and it will become very difficult to focus on the class but we all can try now imagine if you would have paid around 10000 rupees for this session what kind of focus and concentration you would be showing in this session if you have paid 1 lakh rupees for this session what kind of consciousness what kind of focus concentration etc all that thing you can put in this session so just because it is a free session don't think that you know it is free because sometimes why we keep a such free session because money cannot buy this knowledge right but your sincerity your focus your all efforts to listen that can actually buy this session so whatever you think will keep your focus and concentration throughout the session you think about that because if we have a proper purpose then we will have a proper perspective about how to take this session right so you have joined with your free will but it is not enough you have to consistently put an effort to listen to this session now you might ask like oh is your session is so interesting that we can put that much of focus and concentration i don't know about that maybe end of the session you can tell me whether this session is worth or not okay whether you have learned something or not whether you have invested your time or wasted your time by this joining this session all of these things you will come to know at the end but till that end right so have patience and put yourself into the session because some things you will understand very easily because you've been hearing about these things and some things you will find very new very interesting and sometimes confusing also and some things you will you know it will bounce like you will feel like yaar mere palle nahi padne wala hai i'll not be going to understand this in one go so there can be a mix of so many things but if you focus enough then i believe you know i didn't made it so complex i tried to share almost all the uh, concepts in a simpler way because mind is a very complex topic it can be explained in a very complex way also but i tried to make it simple so i tried my best to put forward whatever i wanted to share now you have to give your best so that we can continue okay so we all have differences okay so like you know our age is different our body is different our you know complexion is different the color complexion our nose is different eyes are different some of you wear specs some of you don't wear it some of you are very healthy or very heavy right and some some of you might be very lean okay some of you may not be very you know healthy sometimes you may know because of some illness and all we might be weak so there can be so many differences in our self but there are so many common things also we all long for happiness we all long for success we all long for knowledge right always we search for the happiness whatever we are trying to do we think that end of this process i should be beneficiary when i should get the benefit i should be happy i should be peaceful so we all have certain goals and these are all common in all the humanity right so no matter whether you know me or whether i know you or not but all of us are common in terms of our aspirations the magnitude and the quality might be different but all of us are wanting that same destination that we want to be happy someone want to get married because they want to be happy someone want to get a job because they want to be happy someone want to have children because they want to be happy 
someone want to earn more money because they want to be happy someone want to buy a phone or a house or anything because they think that will give them happiness so on the whole there are two basic foundational needs that we always have that is to be happy and to be loved and to love someone so to be happy and to be loved or loved all of these are like you know basic foundational needs that we have so whatever we are trying to do we are doing only for this okay the means may be different the ways may be different the time that it will take to become happy may be different but all of us are trying for that only so anyone would like to differ with this thought can raise their hand is is there anyone who is not doing anything or who think that you know i don't want happiness i don't want to be successful like that is there anyone want to differ with this opinion i hope we all have the same opinion right now if we really want to be happy right if we want to have a very positive outcome of all our efforts then we have to know about ourselves sometimes we have a complaint like you know the other person is not understanding me okay he is not behaving in a way that he has to behave with me i am trying to give so many things to him so much of effort i am putting to serve him but he is not reciprocating so he is not understanding me ye mujhe samajhta hi nahi hai right i thought he'll understand after some time but as the time passes he is only misunderstanding me he is not understanding me right so we might have this kind of complaint either with our parents with our children or with our colleagues with our superiors or with the society with the world with anyone we can have this now the question comes is others are not understanding you okay fine but have you understood yourself ya aapne apne aap ko samjha hai kya right do you exactly know what thoughts will trigger at what time and what kind of responses exactly you give for any kind of perception so we all are confused with ourselves also sometimes sometimes we come up with the people when they say like you know yaar mujhe pata hi nahi chal raha hai ki kya karna hai right mujhe kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha hai meri life kahan pe ja rahi hai where my life is going what i am supposed to do what i am doing i am literally confused i myself don't understand sometimes we get angry right and sometimes we show our anger on our juniors or seniors our children or parents and after some time we'll feel like yaar why did i do like that so our something inside us telling us to do something and after doing that that same thing the same noise is telling us why did you do right so this is something which is very uh, peculiar in our life so i'll just share one story so that you can uh, relate to it what i'm uh, trying to tell so in 1997 uh, you all know mike tyson if you know or if you want to agree you can raise your hand like that so that you know it will be interactive so do you know mike tyson okay nice so some of you know so mike tyson was fighting a match against one the, uh, one person whose name was holy field okay in 1997 in nevada so something what happened is this mike tyson is a champion guy but in that match this holy field was actually having a upper hand and he was punching him and he was not able to defend mike tyson was finding it difficult to defend and suddenly after few moments don't know what happened to mike tyson he suddenly started grabbing the face of holy field and he started biting his ear right and not once but twice he did in that same match in a very short duration so in a boxing match we are supposed to give punches we are not supposed to bite an ear of someone or any body part of the other opponent right so by seeing this you know the holy field was bleeding and that match was called off and this holy field was actually declared as a winner and this mike tyson was being charged 3 million dollars because of this act and his license for one year was cancelled so if i ask you how much time it will take to earn 3 million dollars a long long time maybe some of us may not earn 3 million dollars throughout the life life also, lifetime right? prabhu ji lifetime but how much time it took to lose 3 million dollars 2 seconds 3 seconds 
so over a period of time after this match there was an interview and people were asking the interview asked mike tyson like what happened that day why did you do so then mike tyson said i don't know something happened something provoked me and i just did that after doing that act i myself was actually wondering how come i can do like that right so we are living with ourselves from last 20 years 30 years or whatever time we are living we are living with us but we don't know what is inside us provoking and why even against our will even when we know that it is wrong it is not right why we do the things so there is something inside that has to be studied and understood and to be tamed so that it can work for us but not against us so today there is a lot of need to understand about the mind so what is this mind so generally we'll go with this pick which our great scripture bhagavad gita gives us so we have actually i'll go with the description about our three dimensional existence first existence first and then we will talk about the picture so many of us think that you know that we are this body okay and once we grow a little older we start thinking okay it is not only body that we have we have something called as psychological thing also going on so we'll understand there is physiology and there is psychology so to be precise what we can do we can say that there is hardware and there is software so this body is made up of five elements earth water fire air ether so whatever body we have today right once we die what will happen this body either it will be burnt or it will be you know matlab ya to jalaya jayega ya to dafnaya jayega so ultimately the body will become sorry body will uh, begin here and end here only so after that what will travel with us our mind will travel with us now the question come travel with us means with whom now our shastras tell our scriptures tell that we are not the body but we are actually the soul the consciousness or the atma right and with this soul this subtle body and gross body are given and when we die we leave this gross body which is made up of five elements which is like a hardware but we will carry this subtle body that means our mind intelligence ego so the components of subtle bodies mind intelligence and ego now this is like a software and with this who will go user will go now this may sound complex if you are very new to this subject this may sound complex but simple is even if you have a mobile or a laptop in that there will be hardware there will be software and there will be a person who will be using that gadget right so many times we talk about this gross body many times we take care of this body we go to doctor if we have some issue right we eat nutritious food we eat three times a day so all that we are taking care and sometimes we may think about our mind also yeah i have to think positive okay i have to read books and all so these two things are generally found but many times this third dimension is not explored in a very profound way right many think that they are just the body and many times they talk also you know i have to control my mind i have to be intelligent i want to be successful i want to be happy so who is that i is the subject that they have to study but many they doesn't study they'll talk about it but they'll say they'll say you know my mind is doing like that my body is aching my head is aching so everything we are referring that we and something that we have is different but we don't study what is that difference and who is the person who is saying i i i so in the in our shastras when we read we will actually understand that we are different from our physical body we are also different from the subtle body so we are something called as soul or atma and this atma has something called as consciousness because of that only we function in this world so consciousness is not part of something dead if we take this laptop or this mobile or any iron rod or anything 
they doesn't have the consciousness if you take out the specs whatever you do it will not respond right if you bend like this it will not shout hey don't bend me i'm it's my paining my leg is paining like that so it has no consciousness whatever you do actually nothing will happen but if i grab you and i bend your hand will you respond or not yes professor you will not respond you will actually shout shout <laughs> right so consciousness is there right so in our hairs also when you plucking the hair there will be pain but after that whether you make the 100 parts of that hair you will not have pain because once it is removed from your connection it has no consciousness right so this is the most important thing that we have to learn that how we exist in this world so now the question comes is why we don't study about this so because we are very busy in this world okay we are okay so we are very busy in this world to take care of our physical body so much that we forget about our psychology we forget about our consciousness we forget about there is subject called as atma now let us imagine that Uh, nowadays many parents have a problem ki yaar bacche sunte nahi hai you know children are spoiled they are actually not respecting their elders they are not humble they become arrogant they are only you know uh, back of all these gadgets and all they are not taking care of parents when they grow up so many of us have this complaint isn't it true right so imagine if a child has to be humble obedient and responsible then do you think the upbring upbringing of the child has a role in that how we upbring that child certainly yes? see, definitely definitely so his upbringing matters his association matters kiske sath wo ghoom raha hai with whom he is hanging out matters or not correct yes prabhu yes. it matters yeah, it matters so his upbringing his association the food that he eat the way he talks the way he desires all those things matters now if you are too much busy in your job okay and you are just concerned about feeding your child sending the school and you are just busy in trying to have some savings provident fund and everything so that after you your child should not have financial problem and during this busyness you have neglected your child okay now do you think that your child will have any sort of deeper relationships with you or any obedience or any kind of attachment towards you no prakash no, no right no, so if this can be clearly visible with our child then this should be clearly visible in relationship with our mind also our mind has a nature called as fickle nature right it goes here and there and in sanskrit it is says chanchala manah chanchala asthiram so chanchala sanskrit has another meaning which is said as child so our mind is also like our child right so if we neglect our child he will become rebellious he will become spoiled he will not be responsible his future will not be set similarly if we neglect our child that is our mind the same thing will happen it's a very interesting thing how many of you know that in this world there are people who commit suicide you all know so it's a very interesting thing that there is something called as self defense that means if any danger comes on in a person he to save himself may kill the other person also right so that is called as self defense and if you are killing someone in self defense you will not get the punishment also mm. now the question comes is if a person is so capable to kill someone to defend himself how come a person can kill himself in the name of suicide that means every time we try to protect ourselves we try to keep ourselves happy what makes that same person kill himself 
So this is a very interesting thing that all the time we try to save ourselves, but something happens within ourselves that we might start killing ourselves. There are 8 million people, not 8 million actually, 8 lakh people commit suicide every year. And the average or the fourth leading cause death, leading, leading cause for the death in the age between 15 to 29 is suicide. So almost every 40 seconds, someone is committing suicide. And many people are addicted, many people are stressed out. So that number is very huge. So if we do not control this child called mind, what will happen? This will start working against us. So if you don't spend time with your child, there will be no proper relationships. He'll not become responsible for your growth. You will not become responsible for your growth, his growth. So similarly, if we neglect this child, what will happen? It will actually start using ourselves, not for us, but against us. Imagine if your child is spoiled and if you have a lot of property, what the child will do? Spoiled. He'll, he'll, spoil he'll, that money plunder. he'll plunder his your property. He'll misuse your assets. He'll misuse the money. So similarly, if our mind is not taken care properly, it will misuse our money. How many of you go to a supermarket and buy more than what you need? Almost all of us, Prabhupada. Right? Whose money? Your money, no? right sometimes we use our credit cards right sometimes we take personal loan to buy certain things which we actually don't need right and when you go to a supermarket and you feel like you know my account doesn't have a money then what they will say sir we are providing a free credit card sir no extra charges to be paid every year it's a free card no you know rental charges also so they are giving us cards so that we can buy more that we don't need it. So our child who is not controlled is using our own money for the things that we don't need it. Right. So this is one small example. And like this, if we don't control it, it will actually start using all our energy also in a different way. How many of you feel that? I'll just ask this simple questions. <laughs> How many of you feel like eating ice cream when you have cold? Many people? Or no one? All are nice people over here. How many of you feel like eating ice cream when you have cold? I don't say you are eating, but you feel like eating. Yes, Prabhuji. Okay. Now, the next question is, how many of you have seen that you overeat sometimes when the food is very tasty? Do you overeat? Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji. You know, yes, Prabhuji. 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 Yes, a special chain plate will eat the why to throw? No, no. Why to throw is a very responsible thing. But thing is, taking it even after full. Yani, pet to bhar gaya, lekin yaar, ice cream to tasty nahi kiya. Aray, halwa to tasty nahi kiya. So, we are going there and eating more. Right? So, we are preferring the taste more than the capacity that we have to eat. Now, the next you have to think about. How many of you have seen that there are people who are diabetic? but they still have a very strong desire to eat the sweets. Yeah, and they, they sometimes, they eat also. Right? Yeah, this Dr. is Nemo. most of the people have, Prabhuji. They have it. At my yeah. home only it is there, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Up to eight percent people like that. Yeah. Now the next yeah. is very dangerous. How many of you seen there are people who drink and drive? I see, um, Prabhuji, but one thing they say, right? I I am on control. I know what I do. That is a very funny. Yes, That's what everybody is saying. We say. can't agree. Right. Control. Now, control. now the simple question is: There are police on every weekend, Friday night, Saturday night, to catch the people who are drinking and drive. 
and there are people who are standing to catch if you are not wearing a helmet or a seat belt in a car the most fundamental question is who is at the risk we are going to hurt ourselves if we drink and drive first thing drinking itself is hurtful and then drink and drive is like you know almost killing ourselves right if we eat ice cream during the cold our cold only will increase if we eat sweets while we have diabetes our sugar level diabetes level go high and it is risky for us if we don't wear helmet we will die in an accident if there is no helmet right even with a helmet also we cannot save sometimes but helmet is like a protector so the thing is for that thing which is good for you someone has to have a watch about it and they have to have a fine for it you know we are living in a society where we are being charged fine for not following traffic rules such a pathetic condition is that traffic rules if we follow it is good for us only and our mind says i will not follow but at the same time i don't want to get caught also so i'll tell you a joke so one day a bike driver was going very fast okay and he just crossed the signal and just he crossed the signal it was red still he thought like no one is watching and he crossed the signal and then in front of him the police was standing and the police caught him so the police told don't you see that it is a red signal so then the biker says i saw the red signal but i didn't saw you <laughs> so we want to make a mistake but we don't want to get caught this is our mind matlab sweet khaunga lekin diabetes nahi badhna chahiye i will drink and i will drive because mind will say yeah yeah you can control see if you are little drunk you can say that you know maybe i should not drink and drive it is not healthy but if you are fully drunk okay and if someone is telling please don't drive you drunk then what we will say hey who the hell are you to tell me that i am drunk you think i cannot control myself right i have you know in past also i have drunk so much still i drove hundreds of kilometers don't tell you my about me all these instructions so what is happens when our mind is so rebellious it will start working against us only how many of you have not eaten because you are angry in house like you get angry bhook matlab gussa itna aa gaya ki chalo main khana nahi khaunga aaj उट सो मेनी थिंग्स am i able to control my mind 100% truly honestly i cannot i am just trying to practice and the best part is the more we discuss about these things the more strength we will get to handle our mind so imagine that if you know your enemy how he attacks what is his moves and all do you think the possibility of winning over that enemy are increasing yes prabhu ji so similarly yes, our mind is a great servant but a terrible master so mm -hmm. when we don't understand and when we let the mind become our master what will happen it will start draining all our energy all our money all our life many times we want to achieve so many things in our life but due to bad association due to not having any proper education or proper efforts to handle our life we actually ruin our life sometimes we see some children yeah. who are like very bright in their childhood but over a period of time they become losers and we imagine like kya ho gaya isko matlab we thought like he'll become abdul kalam right but what, he has what? not even got any proper job also right what caused that prabhu huh what caused that yeah what this causes is that this is from guyana so this yeah. is from guyana right huh sudevi mathi from guyana yes mata ji so what causes that you are asking right yeah uh -huh. yeah so what causes it as you know we think that we know everything 
like even our mind says you cannot do it then we think that okay i know myself that i cannot do it so we start taking our mind as our master so seriously that it says you are a loser you cannot do this thing then we will say yes i am a loser i cannot do it and it sometimes says hey you are a free bird you can drink smoke you can do anything right and we will say like yes i am a free bird i will do anything so like that it it dictates us in such a way that you know we will feel like our mind is the friend right but actually our mind can be a friend and can be an enemy also krishna in sixth chapter says that by using our mind we have to upgrade our life not degrade our life right but what happens when you are not alert right just like when you are not alert okay the thief may come in your house and he may steal some valuables from your home so similarly if you are not alert if you are not studying if you are not practicing the right practices then what will happen our mind rather than working for us it will start against us working against us and that is why many people who are bright in childhood what happens they become lack not lack actually they become very uh, what you say like you know very casual or a kind of you know they feel like they know everything and like that what happens slowly it will start draining all your things now our mind if it is not controlled it can show us the opportunities as the problems if it is controlled and worked on very well then even the problems can look like opportunities so the way why some people can see a uh, opportunity in every problem and why some people can see only problem in an opportunity is because their mind is not properly balanced so if we see this picture if you go to the next now krishna or bhagavad gita uh, clearly explains our structure how we are built and if we are clear about this then what will happen is we will start understanding that we are not our body and we are not our mind also so here this is a picture which says like you know this are our senses the horses the five senses that we have and this five senses are to be controlled by the reins that is mind and who has to control these reins our intelligence so in the subtle body you have seen we have mind intelligence and ego right so the mind is reins and our intellect is the control of the mind and this is atma is the user or the passenger and this whole thing is our structure so now if imagine this person who is holding the reins is weak weaker than the forces that horses are creating then what will happen do you think horses will be in control no no probably no no so what will happen this reins will go out of the control of this intellect that is buddhi and they go wherever they want to go now the logic over here is the faster we take control over the reins the easier it will become the later you try to control them it becomes further difficult have you seen children can be molded easily but not adults mm-hmm. yes. yes because their senses are still not so strong you can shout on your child and you can make him correct but can you shout on an adult he will mm-hmm. shout back right no problem so as the children grows it is very difficult to tame them it is very difficult to actually mold them right but if they are in a childhood and we are studying properly then what will happen is today whatever we are studying no if we try to learn and implement these things and try to observe and make our life self better by life better automatically our family and children all of their life also becomes better because you know the enemy then not only you can save yourself but you can save your family also so you know that what can cause all this downfall in a human per, you know human then what will happen once you learn this you can help others also to overcome that imagine that the pandemic is going on and you found the vaccine okay and the vaccine is unlimited quantity do you think you will just take for yourself and you will sit silent 
no no prabhu we will no, take no. our family also chapa. family also and everyone from for each everyone. and every one exactly right so the handling our mind is like finding an antidote for our own mind's rebelliousness so if we learn this what will happen our life will definitely become better right then we will actually help our children our family and everyone to become better so how we can become better by strengthening this intellect that means we have to strengthen our intelligence so if this intelligence is like you know me very thin and lean then do you think i can control this horses no right some bodybuilder has to be there isn't it very strong who can hold on to the reins so how no, we can yes prabhu you can yeah so someone like you know a very what you say rithik roshan or uh, some good our ram charan and ntr from triple r like that personality is required isn't it so how we can increase the personality of our body we can go to the gym right we can go to the gym lift the dumbbells okay do some proper diet and all we can put on some muscles but how you will strengthen your intelligence by reading shastras by shastras yes prabhu by reading shastras we can god a b c d prabhu ji a b c a b c d right so some of them who are already in krishna consciousness from some time so they are giving the answers for new people who are there so intelligence can only be strengthened by knowledge and experience right and before you learn about controlling the mind you should know the nature of the mind right so about the nature of the mind we'll try to reflect on some of the important points so before we go there uh, we will try to see a small video so i think it will be played now okay so i'll remove this my uh, my prof you with proper focus watch this video it is just a uh, 2 minutes video only Adelante. César. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo le va? ¿Cómo está? ¿Permite su documento? Sí, aquí. Bien. Ingeniero comercial. Así es. Perfecto. ¿Y César conducir la tiene al día? Sí, al día. Ya, perfecto. ¿Estamos bien claros con los propósitos de nuestra empresa? ¿Cómo se llama? Bueno, principalmente... Bueno, principalmente... ¿Alguien? So what is that video now I will tell you so what was the uh, what was there in the place of that tv earlier wall wall prabhu ji uh, it wall. was a window i think window 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 prabhu window prabhu ji window what they did 
they replaced it with tv tv they thought like that uh, something going outside it yeah. it is going to harm everyone and they started to protect themselves fear about that friends mind is supposed to act like a window it has to show us so that we can perceive the world we are atma okay and we have this body to function this body to get the perception we have to use our mind it is like a user interface okay so let us say you have a laptop or you have a phone but uh, in hari krishna prabhu ji prabhu ji your voice is very low probably because speaker yeah. i just uh, removed the starting the that okay so our mind is supposed to act like a window but it starts acting like a tv now our mind is like a user interface or the software just like if you don't have a software in a laptop or a mobile you cannot perceive the any feature of the mobile right so similarly atma is there this physical body is there but if the mind is not there this body will not function so we need our mind and we have only one mind how many of you have more than one mind all of us have only one mind and the problem is you cannot remove this mind it will come with you life after life life after life no matter whether you like it or not that is the reason it is very important to actually befriend your mind so you cannot remove it you cannot kill it you cannot throw it so what is the only option is left you have to make him friend so you have to make him so great friend that he should start helping you right so when we don't control our mind when we neglect our mind just like when we neglect our child you know our child is supposed to speak truth isn't it and you know if you ask what happened in the school where is the money and what is the homework and all we expect him to speak truth but if he start telling you stories okay you know actually in our school something happened because of that school was not there that is why i was just roaming in the road and the garden and uh, what should i do if there is no school right so i was feeling bored so i came back so then will you feel happy when he gives this answers no you no. start getting panic like you know how come he took a decision that you know if the school is off he should come back home na who told him to go and roam around and all so when our children are not telling any proper truth or proper thing that has to be told then we'll get the panic so similarly our mind has to tell what is happening outside now imagine that you have greeted your boss okay you said good morning and your boss didn't reply he just gave a look and he went now what you will think about your boss or what you will think about yourself prabhu ji it won't even work prabhu ji why because prabhu ji they will with look only we will get lot of assumptions you know he told he will scratch away and he will fire away like that type of talk yeah we may think But like you know the... every day he was giving a good morning for good morning aaj kya ho gaya right maybe did i do something wrong did i did anyone told anything about me that i was just gossiping about him i was telling how you know how you know how bad his boss is that day in that party in that meeting he just did some stupid thing and i have told to some colleague and that colleague might have carried that news to this boss and he might be considering that and because of that he might be angry oh if he is so like this then what will happen if he is very angry with me because of this then he may throw me out of the job if i get lose the job then what will happen oh i will not have money to eat and sustain myself so because of that i may go on a road also so many times our mind will have these kind of conversations actually as the lakshmi mathu said he might be busy or he might have thought that he has replied good morning but he forgot or it may be that he couldn't hear properly like many times i can hear with only one ear so sometimes if someone going from right side and tell something you know that person will get offended many times when i visit to my relatives or go to a function then they will have a complaint about me ki yaar maine char bar bulaya tha tumhe tum dekh hi nahi rahe the aajkal bade aadmi ban gaye ho tum ha aajkal dikhte hi nahi ho aajkal aise dekh ke bhi anjaan maar rahe ho so what happened i didn't know that he has called off okay forget about rejecting him or ignoring him i didn't know that he has called me 
right so anything can happen but our mind will not say that it will only show us some uh, negative picture just like this tv was showing something different right so our mind has something called a snowball effect there were many cases people committing suicide and you know what were their reasons there was a girl who committed suicide in in us and in the developed countries they have something called as uh, emergency help okay so if you have some emergency or something uh, you can call them and you can tell your problem so in that like a psychologically specific uh, center was there and a girl called uh, and she told like you know i felt like committing suicide and i have taken sleeping pills but now i am feeling like you know i should not have done that please come for the rescue so if she gets a feeling she should have called but she has taken the sleeping pills already right and after that she realized she should not take and she called now somehow fortunately the rescue team went and took her to hospital she got saved and the suicidal intervention experts came to her and asked like what was the reason for you to have this feeling or committing this suicide and you will be amazed to hear she said my boyfriend didn't lift my call do you think it's silly yes prabhu ji it's very silly now the important point is we feel silly but actually when the boyfriend didn't lift the call it didn't stop the mind started telling her so many things he didn't lift means <clears throat> he is avoiding you maybe he started seeing another girl maybe he didn't like you maybe you are not likable no one loves you you are actually not worth of loving so so many things her mind started telling so if i am not worth of anyone's love if my boyfriend with whom i want to live with my life if he cannot accept me what is the use of living and i want to die so these are our misconceptions or misassumptions that will keep coming right she could have waited for some time isn't it but these are the things happening there was a there was a person who was always coming first in his class and suddenly that person got a thought what if i if i come second oh if i come second then all my teachers will look down upon me because i might have become arrogant i might have neglected my studies or i might have puffed up thinking that i'll definitely come first and what my parents will think and what my other people always who look up to me as i'm the first person what they will think so like that she started thinking whole night and she didn't appear for the exam itself so what happened one thought has converted into so many things so we might think like you know itna chhota baat hai such a silly thing how it can happen but actually let us take normal examples in some family function someone says something wrong about you don't you think you will remember it for years together definitely prabhu definitely it will happen it will be remind always what is gone something went wrong they will think like that prabhu hari so don't you think it is silly that that day 10, 20 years back in the assembly of 20 people one person said something and we remember it for the whole lifetime so this is silly but we when we hear about others reason we think that is silly so each one of us are actually going through the same struggle that our mind is making up the stories in spite of having so many things in our life we still feel unsatisfied we feel like you know actually life mein na kuch nahi chal raha hai i thought i will become like this my life will be like this nothing is working in my life everything is wrong only so even to say that everything is wrong in your life some things has to be right right can you say everything is wrong in my life by having everything is wrong in your life to say everything is wrong in your life first your voice has to come out you should be in a stable mindset to pronounce the words with the same proper grammar and you should hear you should have to process so many thoughts to even to let that word come out so so many th- say that nothing is work out working out so imagine if you are telling like this and if we are just having an impression that nothing is working out then we are actually ignoring all the part that is good in our life 
and who is letting us ignore that our mind is covering everything right it will not tell you that your stomach is full it will not tell you what will be the problems if you over it during the eating time it will not tell you what will be the problems or the consequences of overeating but once you over it it will tell nikaithe aagane aagadu kanapadangane tinadame right dikhta hai ki bas khana hi shuru kar de jaise kabhi khaya hi nahi bhooke ki tarah right our own mind told us to eat more and once we ate it is telling see no sense control how long you will survive like this you been eating like this from long time see your body shape and all how you have become and all who is telling this our mind but before eating who was telling to eat our own mind only so initially it is becoming like a great encouragement and after that it is judging us only so this is what happening so what is the nature of our mind our mind is always supposed to work as a window but it has a perverse option it starts working like a tv not with normal tv it's like multiple channels at one time right so let us look at some of the other functions of the mind other qualities of the mind so the mind has three functions thinking feeling and willing so first the thought will come let us say if you see a billboard on the road okay and there is a big car or big house so out of curiosity you will see what is that ad and all and you will feel like okay it's house or it's a car okay you go forward you will see another billboard with the same car or something related to that then what will happen you will start contemplating on that then slowly the desire to buy a car will come okay it's nice if i have it will be more nice na and over a period of time if you contemplate on the thought then that feeling will convert into willing i want to buy a car right now i am just giving an example of car but it can be anything else right so now you are thinking about something because of why because your eyes could see so the horses are getting the perception and giving it to whom to mind now let us say you could not stop you know you cannot live in this world with the closed eyes you have to look at the things right but once you look at the things whether to perceive them contemplate on them you have to be in control otherwise what will happen everything that we see will start buying them you go to the supermarket during the billing section do you find some chocolates and everything lying over there because billing yes, is probably. taking time do you pick up the things yes, yes prabhu ji because of that uh, they are so smart business oh, minds they will keep It is strategy of marketing strategy prabhu so marketing. you saw you saw the chocolates or something whatever is there and after seeing what happened you wanted to buy and you bought happened in seconds this thinking feeling and willing happened so fast that action is already performed right we purchase it directly you got an anger someone gave a glare look or some dirty look at you okay and you thought something you felt something you willing to shout at him and you shouted and everything has happened in nanosecond right happens sometimes in our conversation the other person is little oh, angry yeah. and we are just busted like anything so there is no place to process also right okay let me think why what he meant okay let us say someone says you know you are always like this then we will start our whole chapter you know you will give one hour class how it is not the same isn't it now can you ask a question okay what do you mean by always the same do we generally just observe your life do you have any processing how many times do we process how many times we cross question the person we just take it and we just respond it okay so this is what happening so there should be some process there should be some counter question okay what do you mean by that in what sense you are telling right now let us say you have heard my class completely and you didn't like and you told it was a waste of class i didn't like it so <laughs> if i start telling did you ever gave class on such topic okay what are you thinking about yourself okay i am trying to give a free class and on that also rather than appreciating you are telling me like your class is waste oh you are a great philosopher ha huh? so if i tell like this then what you will feel 
you feel like you could have at least asked no why didn't i like why you are shouting on me isn't it so what should be the proper response okay you didn't like it uh, fine can you tell me what i can improve or what is the part which you didn't like it is it that completely you didn't like it or some part of the presentation you didn't like it so i can ask na no? isn't it but i so, think i think i think prabhu that people shouldn't ask because everybody is number wise and they should learn to understand and comprehend and if they can understand a part uh, a point they should jot it down and yeah. then query it with you find out what you meant how is it Correct. how can you climb to the stage yeah. and so but yeah. for this time no that i think it's supposed to be out hmm. yeah. judging and all these things so there should be some process isn't it we perceive we process we respond there should be the process right but actually our mind is exempting all the processes and directly giving the response right so this happens when we don't control our mind when we don't put every day some effort right and for many of us even after learning all of this in real time we may not be able to have the actual action like you know sometimes what happens is we will realize either before doing it or after doing it while doing sometimes we don't realize but if we practice and if we meditate okay what better i could have done in what better way i could have communicated if we contemplate on that over a period of time in real time also we will be able to give proper response so <clears throat> what our mind does this function is thinking feeling and willing now sometimes thinking feeling and willing will have some gap but sometimes it happens very fast so what happens if we start controlling our mind it will start creating distance between thinking and feeling when you see a car okay you'll feel like no need of buying that you know for that you need money and for that money you have to take loans and all again paying them and all why to take all that struggle not required at least as of now so when you look at the some other items at the billing section oh do i need this chocolate and all just because i'm waiting should i pick up this it was not there in the list right so why should i pick up it so what is happening your intelligence is creating distance between them even though you are feeling like buying it but your intelligence will say no it is not required so need not buy and what happens is once you come out of the store you don't feel much about it so impulsively now this is the vision of our mind it is always short term and impulsive dikh gaya to le lete hain right but actually whether it is required or not this cannot you know differentiate so what our intelligence will do if you work on it it will create that distance it will give us the guidance like you know you need not take it and the mal function our mind what it will do it will do three more functions that is it distort delete and generalize now what it does now it will only show us what good we have done to others and it will only show us what bad others have done to us right so it distorts even if i if i ask you why did you fight let us say you had a fight okay with someone okay and as a third person i'm asking okay divya mataji why did you fight then will you give me actual picture or your version my version only i will say my version i won't say i won't say actual version <laughs> yes. right so But, uh, the point here is the mind will distort and what is going in our favor that will only we will share and the other person will give his version so what is happening we are distorting what has happened and we are deleting certain things and many times a person wanted to show some change in his behavior okay he wanted to do something different but what our mind sees oh every time he does like this only two days he will be different from third day you will be normal only right two days he'll be enthusiastic telling i have changed i want to do this thing i am very much realized now and all third day you'll be same i have seen you 10 times like this you will not change so what we are doing is everything we are generalizing now when we generalize what is the problem we cannot encourage others we cannot encourage ourselves also many times we take up some resolutions right you know from tomorrow i will do exercise from tomorrow i'll get up early in the morning from tomorrow i'll start reading the shastras from tomorrow i will not shout i will control my anger and after 2 3 days you'll come back to your old habits and what your mind will say i already told you 
कि तुम्हारे पल्ले नहीं पड़ने वाला है यू कैन नॉट डू दैस अननेसरली यू वेस्टेड टू डेज ऑल्सो यू कुड इट इजेंट इट सो इट जनरलाइज बट एक्चुअली विद दैट ट्रायल डोंट यू थिंक फॉर टू डेज एटलीस्ट यू बीन अ डिफरेंट पर्सन Yes, Prabhuji. That's many true. people. Many people. When we ask for a commitment, they will fear. Oh, if some days I will not be able to do it, then what will happen? Now the point is, when you commit, some days you may not be able to do it, but the other days you are doing. Now, if you don't commit, you will not do all the days, isn't it? When you pay the fill fees, gym fees for one year subscription, okay, you may not go for one year, but because you paid, at least you will go for one week or one month. No. So that itself also brings some change in your body, isn't it? So our mind, what it will do? It will generalize. It will make every initiative as a waste of initiative, right? It will say, "Nay, yar, tum se nay hoga. Just chhod do." And we will start feeling like same only. Okay. So when we are intelligent, what will happen? We will start telling our mind, "Okay, how you can say that this is same only, right? I am a different person." Three years back, I did something wrong, but in three years, I learned something. I experienced something. I'm a better person now. How you can say that everything will be like that only? Last year also you did like this. Before that also you did like this. Now also you will die like this, and whole life you will be like this only. How you can say this? So our intelligence will question our mind, and then what will happen? The distortion will come down, and the deleted things will come back, and the generalization will stop. So, as Sri Lopat says, intelligence means seeing things in their proper perspective. And what our corrupted mind will do, it will change everything. The perspective it will change, the perception it will change. It will not let us see any good side of it. So, most of the times, why we have negative thoughts? Because we are letting our mind only decide everything, right? Many times we don't take any consultation also from others. we don't take any validation also from others i am thinking like this should i think like that or should i do anything better so consultation we have to take intelligent person always seek help why because intelligent person knows that i cannot know everything but a corrupt mind what it will say i know everything nang anni telsu evar nadagalsina avasaram ledhu i don't need to consult anyone i know about myself who can know better about myself okay so this is ego right the mind is taking the shelter of ego and telling the intelligence so oh, i don't need to go there why i should read books why i need class oh i know all these things from from childhood only i am hearing all these things you go to people and tell bhagavad gita ah, i know i know i am reading the 19th chapter now i know bhagavad gita bhagavad gita has 18 chapters right <laughs> one chapter <laughs> no. they added no, they distorted and practicing and yeah and sometimes they will, say, they will they will work in their job and if you tell them to chant hari krishna read and all they will say see you are krishna only told karma hi puja hai work is worship now the thing is krishna never said work is worship krishna said swa karmana tam abhyarsha through your work worship me he doesn't said that if you work that is worship so this is called as distortion and he deleted the actual information and he generalized ha huh, wahi to keh rahe right you tell people a different thing then they will say like ha huh, that is what i am telling no from 10 times i am telling that only you are telling in a different way but the same thing only no it is not the same thing actually right so this is what do and then what it does it oscillates between past and present now you are in the session but it is thinking about what happened before session what will happen after session when you are in exam preparation you should prepare but it will let you think about what happened in the previous semester and what may happen in the future so it is taking you either in the past or in the future so when you increase your intelligence when you chant hari krishna or when you do some meditation when you read the books you will actually get stable you will come in present you will not go to the past you will not go to the future you will be in present we all can solve our problems if we live in now of course there are some problems which cannot be solved just like we cannot change our mother in law can we no 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 no, no. <laughs> no, no. 
I'm just Probably getting Probably automatic that suddenly you asked about a different question. <laughs> <laughs> just to make you alert, this is called pattern breaking. Okay. So some problems we cannot solve in this world. This body will get old. This body will get diseases. We can reduce the number of diseases. We can stop inviting the other diseases. But no matter how much you protect... See, uh, this Big B, our Amitabh Bachchan was staying in a very protected environment. Corona came or not? And there was yes, a meme of for Brahmanandam. All family providers. <laughs> all family. <laughs> there was a meme in Brahmanandam. Uh, he says like, Amitabh Bachchan anta chakka ga kurchan tene ayana kochindi. Manam prati padinishar ki kothimir katta deva daan baiti geltu nam manak rakunna unta da karona. Yes, Prabhuji. So, you know, no matter how much we protect, how much we try, some problems will come. But if we try to avoid the other problems, then what happens? A penny saved is penny earned. So similarly, a problem not created is problem solved. So many times what happens? We invite so many problems. When we hate people, when we develop anger, when we respond without thinking, what will happen? We increase our enemies. Right? Nowadays, you know, having some 10 relatives some 10 trustworthy relatives is like a biggest achievement don't you think so yes, yes That's see imagine the two brothers are staying in the same house they have issues right so one family together cannot stay in a house we're talking about brotherhood in the world united nations are trying all those things right so the problem is uncontrolled mind right we think our happiness is the only thing that is important but when you take up the spirituality, when you understand this difference between this mind, intelligence and all, then you will start thinking like, you know, actually, yes, I want to be happy, but I cannot be happy by hurting the other person. Actually, the main reason for having this session is I want to know more about my own mind. And I know that I can know about my own mind if I share about the mind. If I let other understand mind, then in that process, I can understand my own mind. So actually, we can get happiness only by giving happiness. How many times you felt happy by serving someone? When you give a I charity. I yes, now, nowadays, my recording is going because of my whole team. I'm, I'm going to think for them, Prabhu. Yeah. Uh, I felt really yeah. very so happy. So when we serve others, we will get a fulfillment, not only happiness, but fulfillment. We feel like something good we are doing. When we earn a lot of money, we'll have some insecurity. Oh, whether I will be able to put this money in the right place or not. Who will take my money and all. We have anxiety. But when we serve others, we actually get less anxiety. We'll feel like we are a bigger person. Right? So, what is the reason? See, we can... Prabhuji, we can't say in words also that feeling. Yeah, we cannot say in the words also. You know, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, in a day, you might have achieved something big. But if you go to an orphanage Prabhuji, home, yeah? I, I donated like 20 times for the pregnant women that I serve, I, I, I serve for, the, for mm. them that uh, I donated 20 times to blood donors. Still yeah. like... I'm, I'm, I'm feel very proud to donate like uh, yeah. some of the people who are having yeah. the surgeries now. So cesareans have happened. Correct. I'm a, I'm a B positive guy that I donated 20 times. Every mm -hmm. time I get a call from them. Yeah. So uh, they tell, they, they told me like that uh, uh, a pregnant woman is there. They needed a like B positive blood group. I donated like 20 there. times for now. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy when uh, I'm be a part of like uh, uh, to become it's like an amazing act, isn't it? Yes. So did you feel uh, always happy about giving? Yes, yes. I feel very Actually, happy. Why? Because when you I, give blood, you are losing blood. Yes, yes. I yeah. know I'm losing the blood, but I'm I'm, I'm the one who uh, the major cost to like give a birth to a new child and uh, yeah. a new generation. Isn't it? I'm, so, I'm very proud. Like uh, yes, like. Bro. Even even like October 20, I again give to a, like a, mm. a pregnant woman who is like going to deliver a baby. I don't know who, who it is like. Uh, I don't know exactly, but I'm yeah. I'm I'm willing you're to happy give about my, it. Yeah. Yes. You are wanted very to happy. give it again, 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 right? Yes, yes. Even yeah. though if like uh, if if January 20 comes, if uh, anyone calls me uh, to donate a blood, to give. 
yeah. i'm ready to give like uh, even yeah. at, when when i'm on 18 uh, i age like uh, yeah. when i comes to 18 i donated started blood mm. so on that time onwards but i yeah. i felt very happy very i see happy. their faces like uh, like some sparkle or something Correct. like that yeah. i see yes. i see there in the faces so thank i feel you. very happy and uh, thank you prabhu for sharing actually because you are giving and you are telling that and when you share it actually inspires others also even though Seriously, like uh, someone calls me that uh, um, uh, why like three months like uh, even i have the opportunity to give in two months also but it is it is restricted <laughs> to me <laughs> to give every day you want to give huh? yes 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 prabhu ji yeah. so yes, prabhu. so i'll i'll just take back the conversation prabhu Uh, yes yes yeah, yeah. so uh, the point is by giving we actually get but our mind tells only by getting we will get so it will tell like you know if you give away your blood okay it will be problem now who will give you blood when you need it okay how many times people have given you blood so if the need comes who will give the blood so better you don't give it if you want to do some charity acha you have so much money yeah? do you want to give a charity yeah? so why you want to give no need of giving if you want to help someone ah did they help you kya in the last time when you asked for help did they help you no why you are helping so every time it will tell us that you know you are insecure and whatever you have you have to utilize for yourself only otherwise you will be in trouble but our intelligence says that actual giver is the supreme lord so if we are in a hand, if we are in a position that we can afford to give we should try just like you know by losing some 250 ml of blood we are not going to die the blood will get regenerated if we give some 250 rupees in a charity we can earn 250 again isn't it and yes, the happiness problem. that yes, we problem. get happiness that we get by giving we cannot buy with the money also but our mind will not let you <laughs> it will actually cover up everything all the good things and it will only show off that which is not good so what it is yes, doing Prabhuji. a lot of distortion deletion and generalization it is doing and it is oscillating us from past future so many things and the most important thing is it always chooses the interesting thing over important thing all right so <clears throat> if the class is not interesting okay it will not listen if the class is important it doesn't care actually what it cares is is it soothing to hear is it enjoyable to hear is it making something some adrenaline rush has to be happen something konta utsang undali something edo undali generally in hindi we say kuch bhi suno ya khao maza aana chahiye right definitely so our, definitely guru ji so our mind will say maza aana chahiye maza aana chahiye maza nahi aa raha not are maza chodo do you get taste when you take the tablets do you feel happy when you get injected No, 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 not at, not, no, at no, no. not at all but do you don't you think it will cure your disease definitely yeah. guru ji so what can cure us what is important for us mind don't like it so when the mind becomes actually healthy mind becomes your friend it will stop going to interesting things it will say i know it is boring i know i may not understand completely but even if i learn one thing out of this whole one hour that itself can change my life so this is what our mind starts telling so this is what happens when you control your mind and once we go to the final page that is the solutions before that if anything has missed ha huh, this it has a lot of imagination and recollection power our mind can do any permutations and combinations right if someone says something to us if someone does something to us let us say uh in general okay let us take this class only okay uh otherwise anything if you say like you know if your relative is coming after 3 years he not being spoken to you after 3 years he coming and giving you some gift what you will think ipudu achi enduku icharu gift asalu corona undi corona no gift <laughs> so uh, maybe they need us they ah, need some us. favor uh, yes. i uh, uh, i'm thinking that uh, they need some what favor oh, from my end uh, exactly so, so it has the it has imagination the power one moment i'll keep it on it so it has the imagination power and it will recollect 
in the past what was the behavior of this relative okay he was good to me only when i was doing any favor he was not at all talking when i was not doing favor so now also she came because she needs some favor so permutation and combination imagine in last 3 years when she was not talking to you she was chanting 16 rounds and you don't know this okay she was going to iskon temple every day listening to all these classes now you tell me is your mind making a wrong judgment or not yes prabhu ji yes prabhu ji so people are changing just like we are changing every day people are also changing but the mind is stuck with the old thoughts only right every time in a mobile when the software upgradation will come we click on it we will upgrade the software but we don't upgrade our mind we only degrade it by thinking the old you know the nasty the stinking memories and we are just feeling that you know my life is like this these people are like this the society is like this 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 that and all so we forget all the good things and we fall in the trap of mind's only negativity so what will happen even the world is beautiful around you it will not let you so it it will blind your eyes and you will see like world around me is actually not at all supporting and all so this is the greatest thing that mind can do to us in a wrong way and because of this what will happen our stress will increase we will go into addictions we'll get into fights we'll get into anxiety we'll get into this disease that disease and there is a whole different seminar on psychosomatic diseases diseases which are caused because of stressful mind the diabetes the cancer all of these things are actually not because we have some body problem because our mind has some problem and it has created that problem in our body psychosomatic means originated from psychologically and manifested in the physical body so these are the very big section right so all of this why it is happening because we are not controlling our mind so there is a need to us that we have to start controlling this mind we have to strengthen our intelligence how we can intelligently sorry how we can strengthen our intelligence by chanting hari krishna mantra so we are like if some of you who are not from iskon or joining for the first time so this hari krishna maha mantra is so potent that the mind cannot produce any antidote for this mantra many times you hear many motivational speakers two days you will be highly charged what happens on the third day everyone will go to discharge prabhu ji discharge discharge yes. or, or we can think like uh, these yeah. lectures are similar like uh, how they did ah. ఉండేకిస్ట్ and that is why he is talking like that but you cannot implement in your life see your background see your life you cannot this is unsolvable that is what it says but when you chant the mind cannot say that you know this doesn't work it may try to say but as long as you keep on chanting it will start coming under the control all right so <clears throat> uh, the definition of mantra is manah trayate iti mantra that which can take the mind into control that which can deliver the mind is actually mantra so mantra will actually change our mentality it strengthens our intelligent and makes the reins and the horses in control so once our life is in con- once once our mind is in control our life is in control because mind will start working like a window again from tv what will happen we remove that tv and we clearly see what is happening outside and the second thing is association with books and saintly people so when you associate with good people what will happen is they will tell you how to behave not only through words but their behavior okay they'll tell like you know in general what happens is sometimes let us say someone is angry at you you might shout back but if you see another person is coming and shouting on your friend and your friend is silent he is not responding and he is just smiling and because of that there was no heated argument and that person left don't you think you will be amazed yes, and you will yes, ask yes. like kaise matlab tumhara kaun ne khol utha 
your blood has not you know become boiled because of his words are you not a human being right if i am in your place i would have you know punched him on the face how come you are so silent then he'll say like you know he might be an idiot he might be a stupid and he's showing his stupidity in his words but i am a sane person i need not reply and i need not take everything that he has given to me he might say i am a stupid person but i know that i am not a stupid i have some faults some shortcomings but i am an improving person so i know what is reality so i need not respond to him so you will actually choose your battles carefully when you associate with people and the books will tell you see this person will come you and tell like this don't tell like sometimes you know when we join office some of our colleagues will teach us about how to behave with our boss he will come and tell some stupid joke you have to laugh okay otherwise he will feel bad okay so if your boss is coming and he is cracking a joke he expect you to laugh but you don't know whether to laugh or not then what will happen your boss will be happy no <laughs> no right no 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 so our colleagues will tell you like you know this nice person but he expect certain things if you laugh also what is there you know even if you don't understand the joke you laugh that is also fine so what this books and association will tell you that you know these things will come in your life and you have to be careful so they are alerting us about telling what can happen now before i prepare the class i most of the time think like you know what can make people bore and based on that i'll try to create something interesting right and if i feel like you know whatever i say people will listen if i am in that mood do you think the class will go like this no people no lose interest no no probably no. so no we have probably. to think we have to think Prabhu, and we have to know yes uh, uh, when you this class is finished please record it and send the record to me okay Tell sure mother who are controlling the whole thing okay okay this recording is going on and i will share yeah. uh, i'll i'll yeah, just sure, put sure. my yeah i'll put my number also in the chat box so that even if you don't okay. get it you can just whatsapp me i'll share directly no issues and mostly i'll put this thank in my youtube channel thank so you. that will be also fine thank you mataji for reminding yeah. yeah okay so the b is sorry a is association with the books and the people and the third is we should start eating that which will actually elevate our consciousness because in ayurveda it is says that jaisa ann vaisa man so if we are start eating junk food and food everywhere and anywhere what will happen is with every food that we are eating some consciousness will actually get altered right so that is why you see those who have a very bad eating habits their words and their mentality also not so good so our food our water will also alter this and this is not i'm just telling it's a ayurvedic concept right so whatever we eat that will alter our consciousness and the best part is whatever if we eat healthy food our health will be nice right sometimes we shout at people not because we want to shout at them but because of our body condition is not good let us say you are weak okay you are having some fever and someone is asking you same thing again and again then will you shout at them or not yes bro definitely <laughs> so prabhu ji i will definitely shout prabhu ji yeah so our body also influences our mind so physiology influences psychology and psychology influences physiology that is the returning of the psychosomatic diseases so if your mind is healthy you can actually heal your body and if your body is not well it can actually spoil your mind also so this both are connected that is why food is also very important and one of the most important or the final thing which i want to say is start talking nice words see everything that comes out of our body stinks you take your sweat it stinks you take your saliva it stinks you take urine stool and all it they stink but only words which you speak they sound sweet they feel sweet so words has to be carefully chosen when you talk do not use any filthy language even in a casual circle also try to use some empowering words when you are given an opportunity to tell something about someone try to tell something good 
our chaitanya mahaprabhu who is the incarnation of krishna he says that you know we have to be like a bhavagrahi not bharavahi right so bhavagrahi means like you know we are just like a honey bee we are taking only good from the people because there are bad things in people we also have some bad things but we are not focusing on the bad we are just talking about good things so what will happen is if you infuse your mind with nice words and one of the way is infusing your mind with nice words is by reading and by association with people people second way is whatever you talk you actually listen so if you talk dirty you will listen dirty what will come out it will dirt will only come out so you have to choose your words carefully you should not use your tongue to depreciate anyone's value you have to choose your tongue to appreciate someone's value because the whole world is busy in putting you down putting others down but if you try to appreciate someone actually you will have a very empowering circle because many things are going wrong but if you just tell them what is right in their life they can make everything right in their life so we are having a scarcity of empowering people in this world so have to choose very right words and with words your mind will alter because to choose right words you have to find right words so you'll start reading it and when you talk also you'll observe so this whole process what will happen it doesn't take much time actually correct right? we might thinking oh so many things prabhu ji has told or this person has told will i be able to implement and all you start with one thing right start reading nice books start reading scriptures like bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam and all start associating with some saintly people some good people and ask them how you can maintain your goodness all the unethical immoral practices are going on still how you can be truthful where from where you are getting the courage right where you are getting the patience to be like this so you can learn from people so learn from people learn from books learn to say good words and your mind will have no choice actually when you practice all of these things chanting reading and associating and talking like this then your mind will have no choice so imagine if you are typing only uh, f double um, let us say f o o t b a l l if you are only typing football in your search bar for 10 years after that if you type f which word will come football prabhu ji football but if you are typing f o o d every day for 10 years then if you type f which word will come football <laughs> so we have to program our mind every day so that automatically good thing will only come out today you have to put some effort to be good inside you might feel like you know to punch that person but still you have to hold yourself and say like okay i know i am feeling like angry and hit him but by hitting him i'll not do any good to him so can i do any good to him let me do that if not let me stop here only so it will take effort okay and it won't be be easy but over a period of time you will not feel angry itself you will feel like yaar kuch to log kahenge logon ka kaam hai you don't know hindi songs sir huh? okay yeah, ha uh, so Google people Google. people keep talking yaar my friend was there in uh, 2009 that time he used to say one very beautiful word okay not beautiful but a very interesting word okay so you want me you want me to say that yes okay, yes definitely yes. definitely you want to say okay he says yaar kawa to kao hi bolega na कोयल so if some yeah. saintly person is coming and scolding you you should feel bad oh why he is telling like that maybe something is bad in me if a ink in inauthentic okay the person who has no credibility if he is talking about some subject which he doesn't know will you feel bad no right yeah. because who knows better about you you tell me let us say i am telling you oh abhijit yaar tumko aisa nahi rehna chahiye you should not be like this you know see so much of uh bad things you are doing and all 
then you might feel like what do you know about me why you are talking about me like that okay so no person has stayed with you for a long time to judge you even your parents also they stay till you are like in the teens and all after that there will be lot of distance nowadays if you see parents and children they don't talk too much that they can understand each other because the parents are busy the children are busy so sometimes you know a mother also gets a feeling like i thought i know my son but i don't know my son actually so there is a lot of communication gap no one is staying with you for a so long time to judge you who you are so if someone is telling you something bad about you you not feel bad what he know about you to tell something bad about you if he tells something good you can still appreciate okay fine but if someone tells bad you need not feel bad actually no one knows right so all these things are very very important for your life this will save your time will not waste our time in thinking about who said what in so many years back we say like i don't remember also because the one who says he forgets right only the person who listens who takes to heart he will remember and sometimes we don't we sometimes you know what happens is we don't have power to say something against them so we keep that inside and that will become a burning fire over a period of time the cancer is nothing but the result of 40 years of anger the kidney stones are results of prolonged period of anger and hatred about self so these are all psychosomatic reasons for the physical manifestation of the diseases and all of this why we are happening we don't know what to consider what to not kya dil pe lena hai kya nahi lena hai pata hi nahi hai humko right so this class or any further class which we do that is to make our life better make our software better so that all our hardware can be used in a proper purpose right otherwise the same person who always tries to protect himself will try to kill himself by smoking so much of intelligence we have a huh? nuclear power quantum mechanics everything we know but we don't know smoking kills we don't know alcohol is injurious to health what happened to mukesh yes prabhu he is no more prabhu ji he is no more prabhu ji that's why two bangles rendu gajalu amukunnaru ada advertisement cheptunna some of you who go for the movies in the uh, in the theater you will get an ad no smoking and uh, no, not only theater prabhu ji nowadays in uh, no, tv in also it is coming right so see we know so many things in hospitals also we can see this is such yeah. type of people prabhu. because our mind our mind where there is one friend who is my who is a doctor he says that i saw the same person thrice in a month coming for the same reason drink and drive he drank he drove he fell off in a one week he recovered he went drank fell off like that three times he came in one month <clears throat> this is our mind after knowing the consequences also we don't stop doing it so i hope you all have learned something at least there were around 65 people but i took more time so some people dropped off so if anyone has questions to ask or anyone would like to do any comments then one by one you can raise your hand then we'll try to take it so thank you so much shrila prabhupa the key jay jay so yes uh, divya mata ji would like to say or ask prabhu ji uh, pranam prabhu ji i have a question prabhu ji నేను ఇది ఐ వాన్ అ షేర్ ఎందుకంటే ఈ రోజు క్లాస్ కి మీరు చెప్పే క్లాస్ కి ఇది అడగాలనిపించింది అంటే నాతో జరిగింది ప్రభు ఇది అందుకని ఐ వాన్ షేరింగ్ సంబడి పులింగ్ బ్యాక్ పిచ్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ యూ యాక్చువల్ గా నేను అది కాదు టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ మా మీ ఇన్ ఎ రాంగ్ వే రాంగ్ పర్సెప్షన్ నన్ను తప్పుగా అర్థం చేసుకుని తప్పుగా ప్రొజెక్ట్ చేస్తూ ఉన్నారు సో ఐ నోటీస్ నాకు తెలియలేదు నాకు సమ్ సార్ట్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ i noticed that somebody is talking but nen adi kaadu ante nen ala cheyaledu adi kaadu but dan gurinchi wrong perception vela then how we have to think in a way prabhu hari krishna okay so it's a very good question what mata ji was asking is uh, she knows that she is not wrong but people are talking wrong about her is that true mata ji yes prabhu yes yeah. absolutely so how we have to take it uh, see first thing is like in our life we should not 
entertain opinions or opinions or suggestions of more than two to three people. You choose from whom you want to hear about you, and you stick to that only, because not everyone is going to speak good about you. Not everyone is going to speak right about you. Only two three people in your life who are close to you who can understand you take opinions and suggestions about you from them only. Okay, so if you cut out all the other circle from opinions and suggestions, ultimately you will not think about them. Let us say, if I am if I want to tell you whether you are singing right or not, okay, I should know classical music. I should have the experience of judging people's uh, tunes and this sur tal and everything. Then I can comment. But imagine that I never sang. Even if I open my mouth, I sing uh, sing like an ass. Okay, so guard the padi natto ga and padta nu. And I am telling Divya, this is not no correct ga padle do. Asal sur raale do, tal raale do, anna anna kondi. What you will feel? Will you feel bad? No, probably no. no. You will simply It's feel like. No, I tell you do. జనరల్ గా మాట్లాడితే కూడా తప్పుగా అర్థం చేసుకుంటున్నారు అది అది ఆ సినారియోస్ తోటి నేను ఇది క్వశ్చన్ రేస్ చేయడానికి కూడా ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ సో ద క్వశ్చన్ ఇస్ డు వి గెట్ ద రైట్ పర్సెప్షన్ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ గో నో నో ది వాంట్ థింక్ ఇన్ ద రైట్ వే యా ఓన్లీ ఇఫ్ ఐ నో ద పర్సన్ దెన్ ఐ విల్ ఫీల్ లైక్ ఓకే దే మైట్ బి గోయింగ్ టుగెదర్ బట్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ ఇన్ దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ రిలేషన్షిప్ ఇజంట్ ఇట్ యా సో if you have all the people to judge you you will suffer whole life but if you have only two to three people whose opinion and suggestions matters to you you will be happy throughout the life because you know those who can understand me they have the right to judge about me others even they judge see if you have a case you are going to high court whose judgment is important for you the audience who is sitting or the supreme court judge judge supreme court judge yeah okay. so if you are in supreme court the supreme court judges judgment is important not the audience similarly if you are in a life choose some people who can judge you okay so that they can correct you they can coach you out of that circle who feels what don't think much about it they are they they will talk about it. they have a lot of time to talk only bad about people what do you can do can you tell them you cannot they are all we can say we can't even go and say the uh, uh, about put right about our words and anti wale ke liye mana gurinchi manam explain cheyadam anedi mood kristame avutunna na yeah that's true that's true actually kuch to log kahenge logon ka kaam hai kehna this is one song you have to remember and second thing what you have to remember is govardhan prabhu always says sabse bada rog kya sochenge log so we all are so much concerned about what others feel or what others think about us just think what krishna is thinking about you just think about what your guru maharaj is telling about you or thinking about you just think about some good vaishnavas who are there to help you some good people who write to there to coach you what they are thinking about you have that concern only because they have invested in you the others who are talking they neither have invested in you nor you are going to get any return from them so why to waste time got it ari bol prabhu ji thank you so much prabhu ji ante deenki nen solution ignore chesan prabhu kakapothe ignore cheyakandi ignore cheyakandi you stop taking them okay you taking yeah. and ignoring is a difficult process you don't let that come into your consciousness itself okay prabhu thank okay, you so because much because ignoring generally what happens is people say i am ignoring but what they are doing is they are suppressing outside they are not telling anything but inside they are feeling so that is not the way we have to stop taking itself okay stop taking itself okay ah, thank you prabhu yeah, very good right. nice suggestion prabhu thank you thank you thank you so much prabhu it helps me a lot hari krishna yes madhavi lata mata ji hari krishna prabhu ji pranam నైస్ క్లాస్ ప్రభుజీ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ అండ్ 
after this uh, lecture my one takeaway is like uh, uh, the mind is uh, in the geeta krishna said right the geet, uh, mind is a best friend if you control it it is a enemy greatest enemy than anyone else in the whole world if you don't uh, control it correct so it gives that uh, detailed summary of that one sentence prabhu ji this whole class gave me because when we listen right we might forget when we have this kind of detailed description with all the real time examples whatever you have given right correct so it definitely help us when we get that situation or that example in our life we can remind your words or how we can implement so i i was uh, i was very pleased uh, for you for this thank you so much mataji because Vaishnava. this is the first time i i, I never Uh, go out and listen the class completely without uh huh prabhuji because wow. in home there might be some things i was going but i don't know what the reason but still i continued it starting i just joined at 10 minutes late sorry for that so after okay. that i started and continued listening this thank, thank you, you so, so much prabhuji thank and you mataji one question one thing i want to share in the service thing prabhuji you told right so when we are doing that service right we we forget what we are and uh, where we are and we never think like uh, we are so and so we have this background nothing prabhu ji when we go to service we one thing we have in my mind, in our mind is to whom we are serving yeah and we are Important. getting that it the only thing is like we'll get the happiness and will forget everything that is a one one good thing and uh, one who gets service is a biggest mm. millionaires in the world prabhu ji that's what i can say hare krishna absolutely that's true mataji thank you so much mataji for your encouraging comments uh, yes sudha madhuri mataji welcome back to india you can now unmute yeah hare krishna prabhu thank you hare so krishna. much prabhu and uh, as usual my comment goes like your uh, <laughs> your sessions are wonderful and uh, as you say that uh, talking as uh, the only words what you speak are like you can listen and them i mean they can soothe you right so your words are like that thank you mataji i am really a very great fan of fan of you and right from the beginning i'm saying that i even now i'm telling you the same thing you are a you your sessions are very wonderful and very motivating and very knowledgeable and uh, i i don't know what words more i can use here here but seriously a very uh, uh, i should say learning a very good learning in every session we learn a good uh, new point and good points so thank you thank you prabhu please keep giving these kind of sessions and uh, take more topics like this and uh, i mean like which can uh, yeah. help the people it's like uh, uh, psychological sessions i say yeah yeah definitely so, like treating people with your sessions <laughs> very <laughs> well krishna special mercy <laughs> thank you mataji thank wonderful, you prabhu. thank you prabhu thank you so much and please pray, pray that uh, that like we should always be in the giving mode not in taking mode definitely mataji i'll pray for all of you you also pray for me <clears throat> so that i can continue to do the service in a humble mood thank you thank mataji you, thank you so much prabhu yes ekambaresh prabhu you can unmute and ask uh, hare krishna prabhu ji hare krishna prabhu um am i speak in telugu yeah yeah any fine. whatever you are comfortable with fine prabhu ji i'm facing this issue for like uh, so many yes my question is like that mm-hmm. i'm trying to like uh, i will tell you uh, i speak in telugu prabhu ji chepandi chepandi so nenu ee problem rendu questions unnai prabhu ji naaku first question entante nenu chaana rojul nunchi ee issue nunchi problem lo unnanu endukante nenu eppudaithe okaru support chestano so even though recent ga emaindante oka chinna examples prabhu ji రీసెంట్ గా ఏమైందంటే నేను నా నా వేలో నేను కరెక్ట్ గా పోతున్నా కూడా సో రాంగ్ డైరెక్షన్ లో వచ్చి నా మోకాలు తగిలి నేను మైనర్ ఫ్రాక్చర్స్ తో యాక్సిడెంట్ నుంచి బయట పడ్డా కూడా ప్రభుజీ అతనైతే కనుక నా కళ్ళ కూడా చూడలేదు ప్రభుజీ నేను ఈ సొసైటీకి ఎంతో సర్వ్ చేస్తాను ప్రభుజీ డొనేషన్స్ కానీ బ్లడ్ డొనేషన్స్ కానీ 
మనీ పరంగా కానీ లే మోరల్ సపోర్ట్ నా నా కాలనీ ఉన్న పిల్లవాళ్ళని కానీ మోటివేట్ చేయడం కానీ సొసైటీకి నేను ఎంతో చేస్తాను ప్రభుజీ కానీ నేను వన్స్ ఈ సొసైటీ లేక పోయినప్పుడు నేను ఎక్కడైతే అక్కడ ఒక అన్నోన్ ఏరియాలో నేను ఒక బైక్ నుంచి కింద పడిపోయి నా మోకాలు అన్ని పగి అంటే ఏమంటారు యాక్సిడెంట్ గురయ్యి నేను కింద పడ్డా కూడా ఎవరు చూడలేదు ప్రభు చిన్నయ్య ఆ లైక్ అండ్ అగైన్ నేను కరెక్ట్ చెప్తా అంటే ఒక ఒక అంకుల్ నేను నేను అంకుల్తో మాట్లాడ్డాను నా పక్క నుంచి అతను చాలా ఓవర్ స్పీడ్ గా వెళ్ళేతారు కానీ నేను అడిగాను ఎందుకు అంకుల్ నువ్వు అంత స్పీడ్ గా పోతావు అంటే సి he is like judging me that who who you are like i do you know who i am that uh, mm. you want to judge me like that so, so me question enti I... prabhu like ante meeku support enduku dorakaledu antunnara yes prabhu ji nenu ee situation nunchi nenu degree lo kuda maa friends ki support chestam ani nenu vaalla kosam fight chestanu nenu నేను ఎవరి కోసం అయితే ఫైట్ చేస్తానో వాళ్ళతో మనకి ఏమంటారు కొంచెం రిలేషన్స్ రిలేషన్స్ బ్రోక్ అవడం వల్ల అండ్ ఏమంటారు నేను ఈ సొసైటీకి ఏదో ఓట్ చేస్తానని ప్రభుజీ కానీ పెరిగే మీకు రావట్లేదు ఏమీ రావట్లేదు నేను ఏమంటున్నా నేను ఎంతో ట్రై చేస్తాను ప్రభుజీ అసలు ఎలా అంటే అసలు నా సపోర్ట్ అంతా కూడా హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ నేను ఇస్తానో కూడా సొసైటీ నన్ను ఎలా చూస్తుందంటే యూ ఆర్ లైక్ ఎ ఫూల్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ దాట్ యు ఆర్ లైక్ అంటే నేను డైజెస్ట్ చేసుకోవాలి షార్ట్ కట్ షార్ట్ యువర్ క్వశ్చన్ ఏంటంటే మీకు ఏదైతే ప్రతిస్పందన దొరకాలో మీరు చేసిన దానికి అది దొరకకపోగా ఇంకా మీకు విమర్శలు వస్తున్నాయి అన్నట్టుగా గలీజ్ గలీజ్ వర్డ్స్ అన్ని నా మీద యూజ్ చేస్తా అంటే నేను ఎలా ఉండాలి వన్ వీక్ ఆర్ టూ వీక్స్ అంతా కూడా ఇప్పటికీ నా బ్రెయిన్ లో రన్ అవుతుంది ఒక అంకుల్ నేను అని అంటే అతను నా గురించి కానీ మా పేరెంట్స్ గురించి కానీ అతను మాట్లాడే నేను నిరుత్సాహం ప్రభుజీ నేను ఎందుకంటే ఆయన గొడవ పెట్టుకోవాలని నాకు అంత ప్రయారిటీ నేను ప్రయారిటైజ్ చేయలేదు అతను సరే ప్రభు నీ క్వశ్చన్ నాకు అర్థమైంది ప్రభు సో షల్ ఏ ఆన్సర్ ప్రభు లైక్ మీరు అంటే ఇదే కదా మీ క్వశ్చన్ జస్ట్ ఓవరాల్ గా హరే కృష్ణ ప్రభు మీరు అన్మ్యూట్ చేసుకోండి మళ్ళీ ప్రభుజీ సో నేను ఎలా ఎలా ఈ సొసైటీలో గాన ఇక్కడ ఇలా ఇలా అవడం వల్ల నేను నేను ఎలా నేను ఎలా ఫేస్ చేయాలి అసలు నేను ఎలా వాళ్ళ వాళ్ళ ఇన్పుట్స్ వాటి చాలా బ్యాడ్ గా ఇస్తున్నారు నేను ఎలా టేక్ తీసుకోవాలి వాటి నుంచి నేను ఎలా తీసుకోవాలి ఎందుకంటే నా బ్రెయిన్ లో ఇప్పటికీ రన్ అవుతాయి అతను అన్ని అతను అన్ని మాటలన్నీ నా బ్రెయిన్ లో రన్ అవుతానే ఉన్నాయి స్వామి ఎలా అంటే నేను నిద్రపోవడం లేదు సరిగా అసలు ఎందుకంటే నేను ఇంత చేస్తానని సొసైటీకి కానీ కూడా వీళ్ళ నుంచి ఏంటి నాకు ఇది అసలు ఎందుకు అని మీరు ఎలా ఎలా తీసుకోవాలి అండ్ ఎలా మీరు ప్రశాంతంగా ఉండాలి ఇవి జరుగుతున్నా ఇవి జరుగుతున్నా మీరు ఎలా ఇంకా వేరే వాళ్ళకి సపోర్ట్ చేస్తూ ముందుకు వెళ్ళాలి కళ్ళ ముందర కళ్ళ ముందర జరుగుతున్నాయి గురుజీ ఎట్లంటే గురించి నేను ఆన్సర్ ఇస్తాను మీకు ఇప్పుడు మీ క్వశ్చన్ అయితే నాకు అర్థమైంది ఓకే గురుజీ ఏంటంటే దర్ ఇస్ సంథింగ్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ సైకిల్ థీరీ సైకిల్ థీరీ అంటే ఏంటంటే మనం ఎవరికైతే హెల్ప్ చేస్తామో అటు నుంచే మనకి హెల్ప్ రావాలని ఏం లేదు సో వాట్ ఐ వాంట్ టు టెల్ యుస్ ఇఫ్ యూ హెల్ప్ సమ్ వన్ ద రిటర్న్ ఆఫ్ హెల్ప్ దట్ హ్యాస్ టు కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ దాట్ ఎండ్ ఓన్లీ ఇఫ్ వీ హ్యావ్ దిస్ థింకింగ్ వి విల్ సఫర్ ఈవెన్ వి విల్ స్టాప్ హెల్పింగ్ పీపుల్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ సో ఇన్ యువర్ లైఫ్ ఆల్సో యూ చెక్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ నీడెడ్ సంథింగ్ దాట్ విల్ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ డిఫరెంట్ పార్ట్స్ బట్ మే నాట్ బి ఫ్రమ్ ద పీపుల్ హోమ్ యూ హ్యావ్ సపోర్టెడ్ and sometimes <clears throat> we don't know whether the help is coming in return or not so for example those in, in hindi there is a very simple saying which many of you know jiska koi nahi hota uska bhagwan hota hai right how many of you heard this yes prabhu yeah so you know what yeah, is the under, underlying yes. meaning of that is even if no one is watching you even if no one is appreciating you make sure that your good work will be appreciated by the god don't think that you have come for this session because you got the link no you came for this class because krishna has sent you the link through different means so actually the greatest gift a person can have in his life for all the good work that he can do is krishna coming in your life if you are chanting hare krishna if you are associating with the devotees if you are reading bhagavad gita or shrimad bhagavatam 
that means all the good work that you have done in your life is being rewarded we think that when we fall down or when we are in trouble someone should come and help that is the return of the help what we can expect yeah that is fine but even if that is not coming if krishna is coming right then he actually acknowledged everything see this world is like that no one want to help others but everyone expect help from others no one wants to accept the people as they are but everyone want them to be accepted as they are నేను ఎలా ఉన్నానో నన్ను యాక్సెప్ట్ చేసే వాళ్ళే నాకు కావాలి కానీ నువ్వు మాత్రం మారాలి సో దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ది అన్ఫేర్ మిస్ డైరెక్టెడ్ ఎక్స్పెక్టేషన్స్ ఇన్ అవర్ హ్యూమన్ లైఫ్ వీ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు చేంజ్ బట్ వీ వాంట్ అదర్స్ టు చేంజ్ వీ వాంట్ అదర్స్ టు హెల్ప్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ అస్ బట్ వీ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు హెల్ప్ అదర్స్ వీ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు హెల్ప్ అండర్స్టాండ్ అదర్స్ so this world is like that only few percentage of people maybe one or two percentage of people out of all the 700 crore people are selfless like you people ekambarish prabhu who want to help others who want to do the blood donation doll and, and actually you are not meant to get appreciated by this low class people who doesn't understand what it takes to help others you are meant to get appreciated by the devotees you are meant to get appreciated by the supreme lord so you will get rewards always have faith manam bhakti loku vaste annitkante manchi melo em jarugutundo telsa manaki bhagavantudu unnadu ayana chustunnadu ayana chusukuntadu ee dhairyam ochin tarvata manam evvarni pattichukomo see when i do the session the only concern is yeah, with my session will krishna will be pleased will devotees will be pleased that is the thing because i know that some people will not appreciate some people will not like it maybe no. things will you know what happens is like you are all nice people actually yeah. okay yeah, but, uh, but many yeah. people are not yes yes prabhu ji uh, situation end and uh, prabhu ji so once like a basic responsibility oka maana adukunna responsibility enti oka than evaraina kinda paddado లేదా వాడు ఎవడైనా బాధలో ఉన్నాడో వాడి కారణం వచ్చిందో ఒక కార్ డ్రైవ్ కార్ డ్రైవ్ చేసేవాడే కావచ్చు లేకపోతే బైక్ డ్రైవ్ చేసేవాడే కావచ్చు సో నేను అక్కడ కింద పడిపోయినాను నాకు ఇంజూరీ అయింది బ్లీడింగ్ అవుతుంది సో నేను లేవలేనంత స్థితిలో ఉన్నా కూడా కార్ అతను ఎవరైతే మిస్టేక్ చేశారో నా వేలో నేను కరెక్ట్ గా పోయి నేను ట్రాఫిక్ రూల్స్ అన్ని కరెక్ట్ గా పాటించి నేను వెళ్ళినా కూడా సో నా ఆపోజిట్ లో వచ్చిన ఒక కార్ డ్రైవ్ చేస్తున్న అతను సో నిరుత్సాహంగా నేను ఏమంటాను నేను ఒకసారి అతను మిస్టేక్ చేశాడు నేను కింద పడ్డాను సో అతను రాకూడదు డైరెక్షన్ వచ్చాడు మీరు సిచ్యువేషన్ నాకు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేశారు నేను దానికి ఆన్సర్ ఇచ్చాను మీకు నా ఆన్సర్ అర్థమైంది 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 ప్రభుజీ ఫస్ట్ దేవుడు దేవుడు చూస్తా ఉంటాడు మీరు మనుషులు మనిషి మాత్రం ఏ మాత్రం రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఉండాలి అని అంటున్నారు కానీ మనిషికి తను మనిషి అని తెలిసిన మనుషులు ఎంత మంది ఉన్నారో మీకు తెలుసా నో ప్రభుజీ నాకు అసలు దీని బిగ్గెస్ట్ ప్రాబ్లం ఇస్ మనము అప్పుడప్పుడు జంతువుల కంటే హీనం ఎందుకు తెలుసా జంతువులకి అవి జంతువులు అని తెలుసు కానీ మనకి మన మనుషులం అని తెలియదు అసలు ఒక మనిషిగా మన జీవిత లక్ష్యం ఏమి ఉండాలి మనం ఏం చేయాలి అనేసి తెలిసిన మనుషులు చాలా తక్కువ మంది నేను ఎంతో ట్రై చేశాను ప్రభు నా డిగ్రీలో కానీ ప్రభు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయకండి నేను ఇప్పుడు ఆన్సర్ ఇచ్చాను మీరు జస్ట్ ఆన్సర్ గుర్తు పెట్టుకోండి ఓకే ప్రభు అండ్ యూ కంటెంప్లేట్ ఆన్ దాట్ సి మీకు జరిగింది ఏదైతే ఉందో మీరు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ కొంచెం చేశారు ఐ గాట్ ద ఐడియా వాట్ ఐఎమ్ టెలింగ్ యూ ఇస్ ఇలా ఇక ముందు కూడా ఇలా జరగచ్చు అవును ప్రభు ఖచ్చితంగా జరుగుద్ది ఎందుకంటే మీకు ఒక పెద్ద టెస్ట్ ఏంటో తెలుసా ద గాడ్ ఇస్ టెస్టింగ్ యూ even when you don't get reciprocation will you remain same nuvu neela untava unnan prabhu ji ippudu kodi nim blood donations kaani na activity anta kuda same as it is so test pass ainatte kada kaani ee prabhu ji na kanipinchindi entante athanu wrong nenu nen devunu kachithanga gettiga nammutanu endukante so appudu athanu direction lo wrong direction lo ochina kuda naaku మైనర్ ఫ్రాక్చర్ తో బయటపడినానే నాకు సంతోషం ఎక్కువ అయిపోయింది ఎందుకంటే నేను హెల్మెట్ హెల్మెట్ లో హెల్మెట్ వేసుకున్నాను సో సో ప్రికాషన్స్ అన్ని పాటించాను సో అప్పుడు నాకు హెడ్ కానీ ఏమి కానీ ఇంజూర్ అవ్వకపోవడం వల్ల నేను గురుచి మీ నమ్మరు ఇంజింగా నేను ఈ ఇంజూ ఈ ఇంజు ఈ ఇంజూర్ తోనే నేను అసలు పెళ్లికి పోయి ఫొటోస్ దిగి డాన్స్ వేసి అసలు 
ఏమంటారు అసలు అసలు నేను హాస్పిటల్ లో ఉండాల్సిన సిచ్యువేషన్ ని నేను బయటపడ్డానంటే మీకు ఒక క్వశ్చన్ అడగనా అడగండి గురించి ఈ నాకు ఎందుకు ముందు చెప్పలేదు వాట్ గురించి ఈ జరిగిన పాజిటివ్ గురించి ఎందుకు ముందు చెప్పలేదు అంటే గురించి నెగిటివిటీ అంటే నేను మీరు నేను మాట్లాడిన తర్వాత పాజిటివ్ ఎందుకు చెప్పారు తెలుసా బికాస్ మీ మైండ్ కి ఇంకా నెగిటివ్ మాట్లాడడానికి దారి దొరకలేదు నో నో గురించి దొరకలేదు యా సో మీరు ఇదే ఫస్ట్ చేయాలన్నమాట యాక్చువల్ గా మన అందరి జీవితాల్లో ఏదో ఒక బ్యాడ్ జరుగుతుంది కొందరు జీవితాల్లో అయితే ఎప్పుడు బ్యాడ్ జరుగుతుంది అన్నట్టే ఉంటుంది కానీ మనం గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాల్సింది అవి కాదు మనం గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాల్సింది ఇది అది పడ్డ తర్వాత అంత తక్కువ ఇంజురీస్తో మీరు మ్యారేజ్ కి వెళ్ళి డాన్స్ చేసి సేఫ్ గా వచ్చి అది క్యూర్ అవ్వడము ఇది మాత్రమే మీకు గుర్తుండాలి అదే గురుజీ ఆహా కానీ నెగిటివ్ గుర్తుండాలి ఈ నెగిటివిటీ ఎందుకంటే ఇట్లా ఎందుకంటే ఎవరైతే ఇప్పుడు బయట వాళ్ళు జడ్జ్ చేసింది కానీ నేను పడ్డ పడ్డం గురించి కానీ ఎవరు చూడలేదనే అంటే అది గుర్తుండకూడదు ప్రభు గుర్తుండకూడదు 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 ఎందుకు చెప్పనా అది గుర్తొచ్చిన ప్రతిసారి మీ ఎనర్జీ మీ ఎనర్జీ డౌన్ అవుతుంది మీరు మీరు యాక్చువల్ గా చాలా మందికి ఇంకా హెల్ప్ చేయొచ్చు కానీ ఈ ఆలోచనలు పెట్టుకునే మీరు చాలా మందికి అన్యాయం చేస్తున్నారు ఏ రోజు తెలుస్తుందో ఇది వన్ వీక్ లో జరిగింది ప్రభు వన్ వీక్ లోనే వన్ వీక్ లోనే మీరు ఇలా ఆలోచించడం వల్ల ఎందరికి చెడు జరిగిందో మీకు తెలుసా లోన్ లో గురించి నేను ఎవరికి చెడు అయితే చేయలేదు ఇంత చేయలేదు కానీ జరిగిందో లేదో మీకు తెలుసా నాకైతే తెలియదు గురించి ఎందుకు చెప్తున్నా తెలుసా మనం నెగిటివ్ గా ఆలోచించిన ప్రతిసారి మనం నెగిటివ్ వైబ్రేషన్స్ ఎన్వైర్న్మెంట్ లో పంపిస్తాము ఆ నెగిటివ్ వైబ్రేషన్స్ వల్ల ఒకటి పవర్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటెన్షన్ అని ఒకటి డాక్టర్ వ్యాండయర్ ది బుక్ ఉంది అందులో ఏముంటదంటే వెన్ యూ థింక్ నెగిటివ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా సమ్ పర్సన్ ఇన్ బల్గేరియా మే ఆల్సో గెట్ ఎఫెక్టెడ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ నెగిటివ్ థింకింగ్ యు నో దిస్ నెగిటివిటీ <laughs> many yeah, times so why think why we think negative you know because we think we don't have the responsibility to think positive yeah, we think bro. there is a need to think positive but we don't feel like there is a responsibility to think positive don't you think na life lo ipudu problems nadustale man anukuntunnara kachchathanga prathokkar life lo kuda problems unde prabhu ji ikka endi endi problem le le on problems or should i focus on what can i do ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఎలా సాల్వ్ చేసుకోవాలనేది థింక్ చేయాలి ప్రభుజీ మళ్ళీ అదే ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ గురించి మీ ప్రాబ్లమ్ కాదు మీ ప్రాబ్లమ్ కాదు అదర్స్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ సో షుడ్ ఐ థింక్ అబౌట్ మై ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆర్ సాల్వింగ్ ఓన్లీ మై ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆర్ షుడ్ ఐ థింక్ అబౌట్ సాల్వింగ్ అదర్స్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ప్రస్తుతానికి మన ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ లో నుంచి మనం గట్టి గట్టెక్కితేనే కదా సుగురుచి అసలు పక్కన ప్రాబ్లమ్ నో వాట్ ఓకే ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ the most important point which i may not might not have shared in this session all those 44 people who are there always remember and note it down you can solve your problems easily when you start solving others problems the first thing happens when you start solving others problems is you are coming out of your own mind in the covid time there were many people who were mentally down and some people were having very difficulty to adjust with so many little facilities and that time the simple instruction given by the most experts is that better you start helping others with whatever facilities you have if you have to stick into one room only you are not able to go out at least call some people and give them hope that they can be alive and this time will actually pass this shall to pass so start helping others because when you only think about your problems or what happened to you what people are treating you you are inside your mind only and you cannot solve your problem inside your mind right there are some surgeries called as open heart surgery where your heart has to taken out and surgery has to be done so sometimes if we want to solve our problems we have to come out of our mind and the best way to come out of our mind is start helping other people yeah, the only thing which has helped me is that i started helping others 
many times there are opportunities comes where i have to go in depression oh i have like you know wasted a lot of money i have lot of debt i have so much of financial crisis for 8 years i was broke all of these are there and some things will come in my mind and i start feeling depressed but a devotee calls prabhu ji bhagavad gita ee shlokam lo idu chepparu kada so what does this mean now i have no choice so i have they called me to ask something and just to tell the answer i go through the bhagavad gita and i understand that you know i need not think about my problems i need not be negative so what is happening is only because i am willing to help others i am coming out of my own problems so this is the best way to come out of your problems what others are talking about you forget that what you are going to talk about others let us fix that okay people are having negative thoughts about me because of them i am getting negative thoughts but can i start telling someone one positive thing can i go to someone and tell that your dress is nice can i go to someone and tell that you smile nicely i seen very energetic every time so what did you do today you are feeling energetic so go out of your mind meeru cheyalsina pani entante ekamrish prabhu go out and help others prati sari raktanaanu cheyalani kaadu elli edana shramadanam chesrandi yeah prabhu ji i like uh, i do all things like nene ela ante prabhu ji maamulugane physically fit person cheppalante volunteer ga volunteer we will we'll take others questions prabhu yeah okay. one other we question. can talk yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk one other one other question prabhu ji na okay we'll ask sir. others prabhu vere vallaku avakasham iddamu so that oka question oka question prabhu ji endukante short lo cheppali short lo ne untadi idi idi maatram very short so endukante mana work lo unnamo chaana ela ante nenu company lo work chese tappudu చాలా ప్రెజర్ హ్యాండిల్ చేస్తాను ఒక ఒక రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఉంటది డిఫరెంట్ రిక్వైర్మెంట్స్ ఉంటాయి లైక్ ఒకేసారి డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ రిక్వైర్మెంట్స్ హ్యాండిల్ చేస్తాను ప్రభుజీ సో ఎందుకంటే డెసిషన్ మేకింగ్ అనేది చాలా డిఫికల్ట్ గా ఉంది నాకు సో నేను ఏ రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఫుల్ఫిల్ చేయాలి అసలు సమ్ కోర్స్ చేస్తానని పక్కన సో ఒకసారి జాబ్ చేస్తానను ఫ్యామిలీ చూసుకుంటానను సో డెసిషన్ మేకింగ్ అనేది ఎలా ఉందంటే గురుజీ నాకు మైండ్ అనేది బ్లాస్ట్ అవుతాను నాకు సో ఎలా ఉందంటే నేను సమ్ ల్యాక్స్ ఆఫ్ అమౌంట్ స్పెండ్ చేసి కోర్స్ చేస్తాను నన్ను సో ఒక సిక్స్టీ సెవెంటీ థౌజండ్స్ శాలరీ గెట్ చేస్తాను నన్ను సో నేను శాలరీ చూసుకుంటాను నన్ను సమ్ ఇక్కడికి ఇక్కడ ఇక్కడ కోర్స్ కి ప్రయారిటీస్ చేయాలా సో ఇక్కడ జాబ్ కి ప్రయారిటీస్ చేయాలా అండ్ ఫ్యామిలీలో ఉన్న వాళ్ళకి సో వాళ్ళ నీడ్స్ కోసం చాంటింగ్ చేస్తారా ప్రభు ఎవ్రీ డే హరే కృష్ణ ఎనీ రౌండ్ చేస్తారు నిఖిల్ సార్ నిఖిల్ లింగాల నిఖిల్ అని ఉన్నారు మై మెంటర్ లైక్ ఫిఫ్టీ మినిట్స్ వరకు చెప్పినారు అసలు నేను చేస్తా ఉంటాను సో నేను చేసే కొద్దీ ఎలా ఉంటుంది అంటే ఫస్ట్ స్టార్టింగ్ లో ప్రశాంతంగా స్టార్ట్ అవుతుంది సో నాకు టెన్స్ అయినా కొంచెం టెన్స్ అయినప్పుడు ఇంకొంచెం ఫాస్ట్ 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 గా చేస్తుంటాను ఓకే మీ మీ డెసిజన్ మేకింగ్ కరెక్ట్ అవ్వాలి అంటే రోజుకి సిక్స్టీన్ రౌండ్ చేయండి ప్రభు సిక్స్టీన్ రౌండ్ చేయడానికి టూ అవర్స్ పడుతుంది యా గురుజి నేను ఇది ఇది మీ నంబర్ వన్ ప్రియారిటీ ఇది చెయ్యండి మిగతా దేనికి ప్రియారిటీ ఇవ్వాలో లేదా మీకే తెలుస్తుంది ఈ ఈ టెన్షన్ తో అయితే కనుక ప్రభుజే అసలు ఎలా ఉందంటే సిచ్యువేషన్ మీకు సజెషన్ అర్థమైందా అయ్యా అర్థమైంది చేస్తారా టూ అవర్స్ చాంటింగ్ అంటే ఇది నాకు ఎలా ఉంటుంది అంటే మార్నింగ్ ఒక ఫైవ్ కో సిక్స్ కో స్టార్ట్ చేసేసి ఒక టూ అవర్స్ చాంటింగ్ అయిపోయిన తర్వాత నేను నా వర్క్ లెక్ నేను వెళ్తే మేబీ ఐ గాట్ సమ్ ఐడియా ఐ థాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ అదే చెప్తున్నా మీరు అడిగారు కదా ప్రియారిటీ ఏంటి మీరు సిక్స్టీన్ రాండ్స్ చేయండి మీకు ప్రియారిటీస్ అన్ని తెలిసిపోతాయి మీరు చెయ్యకండి మీరు ఎంత తలబట్టుకున్నా మీకు బ్లాస్ట్ అవ్వడం తప్ప మీకు సొల్యూషన్ రాదు యా ప్రభు నేను ఎందుకంటే ఫాలో అవుతారా డెఫినెట్లీ డెఫినెట్లీ ఎందుకంటే రోజు నాకు వాట్సాప్ చేయండి మీరు ఎన్ని రౌండ్స్ చేశారు నిఖి నిఖిల్ అన్న నాతో ఎప్పుడు కాంటాక్ట్ లో ఉంటారు సో నిఖిల్ అన్న నా ఏమంటారు నిఖిల్ యు ఆర్ దేర్ నిఖిల్ నిఖిల్ అన్న ఉన్నారా ఉన్నారా so nikhil yes. so i told him to do 16 rounds every day so a roju any rounds chesaro naku every day report pampistava <laughs> okay so meeru one week cheyandi prabhu ikka yeah, prabhu ji one yeah, week tarvata na call cheyandi appudu nenu deen gurinchi maatladtanu meeku yeah prabhu ji uh, two hours ante it's uh, like uh, 
so much time but uh, yeah, i definitely course. want to do i definitely want to do why because want gent gaadu meer chesi one week tarvata na call cheyandi dan tarvata mashal maatladtan nenu nen 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 maamulge session start avadam mundaru kuda job purpose kani chestane untanu swami em adagatledu nen memalli ippudu okay మీకు అరిగాడు క్వశ్చన్ నేను ఆన్సర్ ఇచ్చిన అది ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేసి మీరు నాకు చెప్పండి దాని తర్వాత ఆన్సర్ నేను ఇస్తాను మీకు యా యా డెఫినెట్లీ గురుజీ నేను ఖచ్చితంగా నిఖిల్ అన్న నేను చెప్తాను సో నేను చాంట్ అయితే చేస్తాను మార్నింగ్ ఒక ఫైవ్ కట్ల ట్రాక్ ప్రభు మీ టైం అయిపోయింది ప్రభు ఓకే 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 ప్రభుజీ యూ కెన్ గో టు అనదర్ క్వశ్చన్ ప్రభుజీ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ ఇట్స్ అ గ్రేట్ సెషన్ ప్రభుజీ థ్యాంక్ యూ ప్రభు ఎస్ రితు మాతాజీ ritu you can unmute <laughs> she might have left hari krishna prabhu ji you are there ha huh? yes mata yeah, yeah. i was actually <laughs> hari krishna prabhu ji first krishna. of all uh, hmm. uh, a great session actually after a long long time uh, i had the opportunity to attend your no uh, i didn't left my um, prabhu i just busy little yes, were you asking hmm. me prabhu ji yeah no 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 you ask no రొటీన్ హౌ టు overcome that and have that peace subtle nature and um, you know have that uh, feeling of uh, uh, knowing that it is these are your limits these are your resources and you mm-hmm. just have to go ahead with this it not will sound funny the mind keeps telling you know why it not sound, this it will sound funny shall i give you the solution but it will sound <laughs> please, funny please please okay so whenever you get frustrated no ask mm-hmm. this question ritu to kahi book mein padha hai kya ki ritu is the supreme personality of godhead oh. are you krishna are you supreme god no. kaun no. ho tum matlab tumhare hisab se sab hona chahiye theek hai ho kaun tum theek hai fir tab tumhe pata chalega ha to fir you are a minute finite being Of yes. course, you have limited resources and all. Right? Okay. Whenever okay. I get angry, you know, sometimes I'll ask this question. Are you so big person? 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 What you can do, what you cannot do, Krishna will do something about it. राइट सो लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेस आपके हैं बट आपको याद दिलाना है हमेशा लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेस क्यों है बिकॉज यू आर जीव आत्मा नॉट परमात्मा ओके ओके वंस यू रिमाइंड दिस ओनली सब अपने ही पूछो रितु आर यू रिफर्ड एज सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड इन एनी स्क्रिप्चर्स नहीं होना तो फिर क्यों भगवान बनने की कोशिश कर रहे हो तो बस चुपचाप बैठो जो कर हाँ. सकते हो वो करो बाकी सब छोड़ो यू विल कूल डाउन ठीक है okay, अगर कोई आके दूसरा बोलेगा आपको ऐसा तो आपको गुस्सा आएगा लेकिन आप अपने आप को बोलोगे ना तो ठंडा हो जाएगा गुस्सा ओके राइट सो इफ यू टेल सर्टेन थिंग्स टू योर सेल्फ यू विल कूल डाउन बट इफ द सेम थिंग्स समवन एल्स इज कमिंग फ्रॉम आउट साइड एंड टेलिंग नो यू विल गेट एंग्री राइट सो बेटर नॉट एल so before others laugh on you laugh on yourself then you will not feel bad about others laugh on you right theek hai yes karke like dekho aur mujhe batao din mein kitni bar aapne apne aap ko pucha sure main bataungi prabhu ji okay hari krishna bol prabhu ji hari krishna hey nitai hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna jai jawan nitai sir nitai olakhli ka mala tu Ha she said would... Hare Krishna actually in the start of the session only Hari bol thank you mata ji Yes thank you prabhu thank you Anita Anita mata ji Hare Krishna prabhu ji dhanyavad pranam Hare Krishna mata ji dhanyavad pranam 
the pretty decision was a very very awesome session because as you know i'm a depression patient and insomnia patient mm -hmm. so this was amazing for me and mm -hmm. uh, whenever like uh, previously i i talked with divya mataji she told me that whenever i will get angry you just focus on krishna so mm -hmm. i'm keeping krishna in the middle and my angriness is going away so i'm focusing like that and whenever i'll get a chance i'll do chanting and uh, uh, that day i'll try to do uh, 16 rounds per day but what mm. is happening is i am mm. uh, this uh, life is uh, my husband or my child this is a gift given by lord krishna to me correct right because of these people i am unable to concentrate or go in krishna consciousness but today when i went, today when i was coming uh, like um, the sunday when to uh, uh, that nandana vanam prabhuji on that day i felt very very happy mm. i don't know why because i was feeling like the uh, like krishna is krishna is with me and all these things and today when i was uh, uh, i was going to hospital at that time i thought uh, what is happening with me so why i am going like this but before that only i again went to in nandana vanam and i am doing chanting and uh, mm. uh, the geeta pracharam chestunna mandaram kalsi i was able to hear your voice saying hare krishna and i was getting up early in the morning saying hare krishna hare krishna and i got up oh so this so, is what i experience and whenever i am in trouble always krishna says he is with me he says and he assures me and he reciprocates with me and he tells everything each and every problem whatever i speak in with me tell about me also to him no when he comes to you sure prabhu ji <laughs> i'll also share sure prabhu ji without you this is not possible and another thing is in hospital so many people say that you should not do what is this hare krishna hare rama uh, i'll just listen and i'll just throw away you I'll should you should tell this, them you know is... you should stop breathing <laughs> <laughs> i'll just listen to my mind at least once once in a day we should listen to our mind prabhu ji yeah. otherwise what our mind says and we should write a note we should write a note because i'm practicing in that way this is uh, one of the example given by divya mata ji otherwise i don't know what to do and how to go forward okay nice mata ji so thank you for sharing and uh, yeah krishna is always Hare with krishna. us whether we are depressed yes, or happy he is always with us only thing is we will only recognize him when we are in trouble when we are happy krishna just wait huh? i'll come when we are sad <laughs> krishna where are you please come so this is our problem <laughs> he is always with us no prabhu ji actually if we chant 16 rounds per day krishna will hold our hand in and will take it to goloka vrindavan this is pakka yeah. prabhu ji thank you mataji yes priti thank you hari krishna prabhu hari krishna yes priti mataji from america i don't know which time it is there you are busy it's morning the 11:30 oh morning 11:30 yes. i feel happy if someone from different countries are joining the class i feel like <laughs> empowered yes yes mataji Uh, okay prabhu ji so my question is like actually uh, the mind should always think about krishna right hmm. ultimately so yeah. that is only my problem that like, when i was like i will keep uh, when uh, i mean i'm worried about like if i cannot think about him all the time when i'm doing other works okay. so what should i do about that a uh, simple mata ji like uh... of course we cannot think about krishna all the time at this stage uh, okay. see imagine are you uh, are you a housewife or you work mata ji a housewife housewife so let us say uh, when you are uh, you know sleeping or when you are cooking or when you are taking care of your child and all so most of the times your whole consciousness has to be engaged in that activity only okay so that time you cannot think about krishna okay so let us say if i am doing some accounts oh which devotee has sent what money for what purpose i am preparing an excel sheet and all i may not remember krishna 
but for whom i am working okay for krishna so before the work after the work maybe sometime in the morning sometime in the night night if you can think about krishna that is also fine because we are okay. trying to induce krishna in our consciousness right okay. so some of the so, devotees uh, that should be okay that means then i was uh, i was thinking maybe we should not do like that i was see when arjuna was fighting do you think okay. he was chanting hare krishna while fighting <laughs> no he cannot listen any voice he cannot yeah. he just has to focus and throw arrows but background he knows that he is fighting for krishna okay so sometimes krishna will be in the foreground like we are okay. chanting we are hearing about him reading about him and other times he will be in the background but ultimately okay. he is there no okay yeah so if you want to increase his remembrance what you can do is while cooking uh, play some kirtan play okay. some class while preparing okay. something else you do it and before you sleep try to read something about krishna so okay. induce it's like you know when we are driving generally we listen to songs no yeah so rather than listening to some mundane songs or film songs listen about kirtans related to krishna so yeah. sometimes a newspaper some novel we have a habit to read so read bhagavad gita if you want to watch tv watch some youtube in the recorded sessions will be there of many devotees will be there shri prabhupada videos will be there watch them so yeah like this one day will come where even in the sleep before you sleep after sleep everywhere you will think about krishna only kirtaniya sada hari will happen okay oh, okay yes. the... oh, okay thank you prabhu ji thank you mata ji so priti mata ji smata ji padmavati mata ji Hare Krishna, Prabhu Ji, Dandavat Pranam. Dandavat Pranam. Such a nice family you have, Mata Ji. You, Thank your you. husband, your, your daughter, all yeah. joining the class. See, your class means we don't do any work at home. I wanted to give just comments. That's it. See, this class is so wonderful and it uh, fits all age groups. Not children or uh, not the elders or old or young, all age groups it fits, and one should read their mind every day, and it should be recharged. That what we learn from your session, uh, that recharging is very 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 important. So when in this society we have to mix with the society, we have to live with the society. Okay. So now when then the bounces will be there, but when you are alone. Uh, when you are in the society you feel you are alone sometimes so right. at that time such sessions will help uh, like a miracle prabhu ji really what i feel so because that time uh, shri harsh prabhu said like this so you have to control in this way you have to go in this way so these are all margadarshis they are all roots for us yeah. to live see we have spent uh, we we have become senior citizens all the past life is gone is gone but every second if we think of uh, these sessions which are so important to control the mind is very 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 important actually mind is our ours but we mm. never thought that it is ours mm. it is something outside correct like it is something outside and outside person is uh, guiding us uh, okay this is correct we are going forward forward but mind is within ourselves and we are uh, we have to listen to our mind and control the mind in this session uh, is what it is teaching us and what a great patience you have prabhu ji uh, to answer the questions sometimes you know the persons trouble you so much we feel like unmuting them <laughs> 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 really because you have to go to bed and you have to eat have prasadam and it is long long time you started at 7:40 and as soon as i saw your message you don't know how much my soul jumped how much bumps we had i had an, at least for 25 messages quickly i sent within 10 minutes i saw your message after 7 i think Uh -huh. so yeah so i sent and uh, three or four people have joined and they attended oh. a complete session and my yeah. prabhu was uh, completely he attended my daughter attended <laughs> so everyone uh, in our family we enjoyed like anything prabhu ji uh, hope so hare we krishna will prabhu. learn hare uh, krishna prabhu something from you from your sessions prabhu Thank in you. your last session uh -huh. very good example of that envious uh, 
student. That is the uh, last that session very... on Monday. <laughs> on Monday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, what, what was this? What was the? No, the student yeah. was a MBBS student. Uh -huh. He was standing before Krishna. Uh, <laughs> that is a uh, very beautiful example. Govardhan Prabhu added coming. Yeah. Correct. Correct. And he is reminding every day, Prabhu. So really, yeah. Prabhu, it was very attractive. <laughs> a lot of people. Yeah, that uh, your daily examples, what you give is really wonderful, Prabhuji. I think uh, there are many people changing. If you come now and then, uh, apart from Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam, of course, this is also concerned to Krishna mind control of senses, but it is it is something different. Correct. Something different more and more appealing. Related, yes, more related to our personal lives, I should say. So, Haribol, Haribol to you, Prabhuji. Thank you. Thank you so much, my Prahlad Maharaj. <laughs> thank you so much. Haribol. Haribol. Thank you, Prabhu. Yes, Saroja Mataji. Yes, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. <clears throat> Chinna question, Emma Nanda Miku. Yeah, Chinna question. First thing, super class, Prabhuji. I mean, effort lane as usual. And uh, <laughs> Prabhuji, question in the day. Chinna question. ఏంటంటే <laughs> కొట్టాలంటే విలన్ ఎవరో మామూలు గ్రామంలో ఉన్న ముసలాడిని కిడ్నాప్ చేస్తే హీరోకి ఏమైనా బాధేస్తుందా ఒక విలన్ ఒక హీరోని కొట్టాలనుకుంటే వాడిని బాధ పెట్టాలనుకుంటే ఎక్కడో మారుమూలలో రేపో మాపు చనిపోయే పోయే ముసలాడిని తీసుకెళ్లి కిడ్నాప్ చేశారనుకో హీరోకి ఏమైనా బాధేస్తుందా లేకపోతే హీరో వల్ల చెల్లినో తల్లినో కిడ్నాప్ చేస్తే బాధేస్తుందా మైండ్ చూస్ చేసుకుంటది అనమాట ఎక్కడ నొక్కితే ఎంత నొప్పి అవుతుందో దానికి బాగా తెలుసు అనమాట దానికి మనమే చూపిస్తాం కదా మన వీక్నెస్ అన్ని రోజు సో అందుకనే అది జస్ట్ అక్కడే పట్టుకుంటది అనమాట వేరే వాళ్ళు ఏమనుకున్నా సరే ఏమనిపించదు కానీ మనకి నచ్చిన వాళ్ళ గురించి మంచిగా ఫోకస్ చేసి మనల్ని ట్రాప్ చేస్తుంది అనమాట సో ఇప్పుడు మాయాదేవి ఉందనుకోండి మాయాదేవి మీకు టెంప్టేషన్స్ సపోజ్ మీకు గులాబ్ జామున్ అంటే నచ్చదు అనుకోండి గులాబ్ జామున్ చూపించి టెంప్ట్ చేస్తుంది మిమ్మల్ని ఎందుకంటే మీరు టెంప్టే కారు కదా మీకు అది అవసరం లేదు మీకు వేరేది అనమాట అదనమాట సో ఇప్పుడు కొందరు అంటారు కొందరు భక్తిలో లెటస్సే ఇప్పుడు నేను ఒక బ్రాహ్మణ్ ఫ్యామిలీలో పుట్టాను కాబట్టి నేను చిన్నప్పటి నుంచే నాన్ వెజ్ అంటే పెద్దగా లేదు ఇంట్రెస్ట్ అనేది లేదు సో ఒకవేళ నన్ను సెన్స్ గ్రాటిఫికేషన్ వైపు మాయా లాగాలి అనుకుంటే నాన్ వెజ్ చూపిస్తుందా అది నాకు వేరేది చూపించవచ్చు నేను దేనికి టెంప్ట్ అవుతానో అది చూపిస్తుంది అనమాట సో కొందరికి లస్ట్ అంటే టెంప్టేషన్ ఉంటుంది కొందరికి గ్రీడ్ అంటే టెంప్టేషన్ ఉంటుంది కొందరికి యాంగర్ అంటే టెంప్టేషన్ ఉంటుంది సో కొందరు మీరు చూడండి ఆనియన్ గార్లిక్ వదిలేస్తారు నాన్ వెజ్ వదిలేస్తారు ఓకే టీ కాఫీలు వదిలేస్తారు కానీ కోపం పోదు కొందరు కోపం వదిలేస్తారు కానీ ఆనియన్ గార్లిక్ వదిలేదు సో ఎవరికి ఎంత దేనిపైన అటాచ్మెంట్ ఉందో అందులో వెరైటీస్ ఉంటాయి అనమాట రైట్ సో ఆ వెరైటీస్ ని బట్టే మన మైండ్ మైండ్ ఈస్ ద ఏజెంట్ ఆఫ్ మాయాదేవి అనమాట సో మైండ్ కి ఎగ్జాక్ట్ గా తెలుసు మనకి ఏది చూపిస్తే బుట్టలు పడతామో దానికి బాగా తెలుసు అనమాట సో చేపకి మీరు కేక్ పెట్టారనుకోండి మేబీ రాదు కానీ గ్యాలం వేయడానికి మనం ఏమేస్తాము ఏదో చిన్న పురుగు ఏదో అది ఇమ్మీడియట్ గా ఏదైతే అట్రాక్ట్ అవుతుందో అదే ఇస్తాం అనమాట అది 
సో ఒకవేళ మౌజ్ ని ట్రాప్ చేయాలంటే మీరు ఏమన్నా వేరేది ఏదన్నా తినరాని వస్తువు పెడితే ట్రాప్ అవుతుంది అది అదే అనమాట సో అట్లాగే మనం కూడా ఎవరి పట్ల మనకి తక్కున బాధ ఇస్తుందో అలాంటి వాళ్ళ చేతని మనం అనుకుంటాం కదా జీవితంలో నాకు నచ్చిన వాళ్లే నాకు ఎందుకు ఇలా చేస్తున్నారు అనుకుంటాం కదా అదే ట్రాప్ నువ్వు ఎక్కడ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ చేస్తే ఆ బ్యాంక్ దివాలా తీస్తేనే కదా నీకు బాధ వేసేది మనము మన డబ్బులన్నీ ఎస్బీఐ లో ఉన్నాయి చార్మినార్ బ్యాంక్ దివాలా తీస్తే మనకు బాధ వేస్తుందా అట్లాగే మనం ఎవరైతే ఇష్టపడతామో మాక్సిమం మనకి బాధలు ఇష్టమైన వాళ్ళ దగ్గర నుంచే వస్తాయి నిన్ను అందరినీ కాదనుకొని నిన్నే ప్రేమించి నీ కోసం వచ్చిన కానీ నువ్వే నన్ను బాధ పెడుతున్నావు ఎస్ ప్రభుజీ అందుకే కొంతమంది విషయంలో లైట్ తీసుకుంటాం కొంతమంది బాగా మైండ్ కి నెగిటివ్ 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 ఓన్లీ అంతే గుర్తుంచుకోండి మీరు ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ ఎక్కడ చేస్తారో ఆ బ్యాంక్ నే రాబరీ చేయాలనుకుంటది మైండ్ ఎస్ ప్రభుజీ యా థాంక్యూ ప్రభుజీ థాంక్యూ సో మచ్ హరే కృష్ణ యా సో ఐ వాస్ జస్ట్ ఆన్సరింగ్ సరోజ మాతాజీ సాన్సర్ దట్ యు నో షీ వాస్ ఆస్కింగ్ దట్ వై వి డోంట్ ఫీల్ బ్యాడ్ వెన్ some people say something to us but why we feel bad when other people say like why there is a difference so i was telling that you know if we want to care, make you feel pain we will try to take away something which you are attached to if i take away something which you are not attached to then you will not feel bad now so our mind is always thinks about what we are attached to and we are focusing on that only and even maya devi also does that same only she will wanted to track us uh, deviate us from krishna only by showing to that which we are attached to if you are attached to non veg she will show us non veg to deviate from krishna if you are vegetarians from the childhood we never had an interest to eat non veg then she will not show non veg she will show something else so each person has different different temptations different different set of attachments based on that only we will get into the trap so similarly we feel bad when someone says something and we feel don't feel bad when others who are not related to say something so wherever we invest maya will try to rob that bank only right so whoever gives us a lot of pain maya will choose that only and most of the times in our life our own people hurt us more than outside us you know many times they say yaar ki i fight with the world to be with you but you are the person who are hurting me this is the complaint we always have it so this is the way this world works our closest people will only backstab us our closest people only will actually hurt us because that's the way this world is designed because if we are very much happy with the close people we cannot remember krishna so krishna want to remove everything from our life so that we can completely surrender onto me because everything every small thing that we get attached to that will trap us in this world and krishna don't want us to get trapped in this world so he just thinking about if if you are doing some good service in even in the krishna consciousness but if you are getting attached to that service no krishna will remove you from that service also right so you will feel thinking like krishna i was doing for you only why did you remove from that because in that service maybe we are attached to service more than we are attached to krishna so krishna doesn't want us to get attached to anyone because every attachment will trap us here again same janma mrityu jaragadi so he is very concerned about us that is why when our own people hurts us na we feel like hopeless in building any new relationship or getting attached to and that's where we actually develop detachment to this world and that is good for us only we feel like god is doing infa- unfair with us injustice to us by taking away our own people but no See, for prabhupada everything was actually against his wife his children his business nothing came in his favor because krishna wanted him to serve directly and that's what prabhupada realized in the 88th chapter of krishna book prabhupada says i wanted to build a big business so that i can do more donations to gaudiya math and they can build temples but it seems like krishna wanted me to do the, everything directly and that is why he is not letting me grow anything and then what happened for some time prabhupad struggled but after that glory is gone so this is how that is how life works okay hi shreya do hari krishna 
ప్రభుజి తన క్వశ్చన్ ఏంటంటే హౌ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు బికమ్ మోర్ స్ట్రాంగ్ నేను అన్ని విషయాలకి ఊరుకూరుక ఏడుస్తూ ఉన్నాను ఎలా అది ఓవర్కమ్ చేయాలి అని సో ఇమాజిన్ ఇఫ్ యు హ్యావ్ ఇమాజిన్ ఇఫ్ యు హ్యావ్ కృష్ణ గోయింగ్ విత్ యూ ఎవ్రీ డే విత్ స్కూల్ టు స్కూల్ ఓకే కృష్ణ ఇస్ సిట్టింగ్ బిసైడ్ యూ కృష్ణ ఇస్ టాకింగ్ టు యూ if anyone is saying to you something krishna is going and beating him okay if someone is trying to hurt you krishna is giving him the warning hey don't tell anything to shreya if krishna is doing like that in front of your eyes will you be worried or will you feel weak weak out ava krishna andarni ala control chestunte shreya ni endar cheptunnavu shreya ni evare manaddu ani krishna ali chepthe nu worry out ava no 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 so ఈవెన్ దో వీ కెనాట్ సి మనకు కనబడట్లేదు కృష్ణ అలా చేస్తున్నట్టు కానీ కృష్ణ ఆల్రెడీ అలా చేస్తున్నారు హీఈస్ ఆల్వేస్ దేర్ విత్ యూ మీ దగ్గరే ఉన్నారండి నేను చెప్పాను కదా కృష్ణ నీతోటే ఉన్నారని సో యు షుడ్ నాట్ నీడ్ టు వరీ కృష్ణ కిచెన్ వల్ల ఆ కృష్ణ కిచెన్ వల్ల ఆ కృష్ణ కిచెన్ వల్ల ప్రభు మీరు బృందానంలో ఇచ్చారు ఆ కృష్ణ కిచెన్ వల్లనే ఆ పాజిటివిటీ వస్తుందంట బ్యాక్ చేసుకొని వెళ్తుంది హరి బోల్ Yeah, Prabhu, she was uh, literally more depressed to Prabhu. And then, you know, uh-huh. and then, me to, me re- Raja, Nizanga Krishna ne bambicharan akko sam. And then, she's literally facing a lot of uh, obstacles, Prabhu. Uh, according to the Rinani Yatra Velachin, and because she lost her uh, internship uh, award at Kolipo Indi. Oh. She was more depressed. Nidhra Loguda Kalvaristo and then, you know, surprised. Krishna ne dorkin ru, a chinna chinna award le mundi ni. Pedda Padma Bhushan, President Award, Lifetime Achievement Award le dorkin atu Krishna unte. A chinna de award poodin le. Pedda award is the Kriyasa Prabhu chepakku na. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Navida, she is not even talking, Prabhu. Silent type of Indi. Mm-hmm. తీసుకోరండి ఇంటికి జయకృత్ తో ఉంటే సైలెన్స్ కాస్త వైలెన్స్ లో మారిపోతుంది ఎస్ జయకృత్ ఇగో జయకృత్ మాట్లాడుతున్నాడు కాయమా మీకా కాయనే అత హే చాలు పొద్దున్నే పొద్దున్న పుట్టే లెవెన్ థర్టీ అనుకుంటున్నా ఇప్పుడు కూడా లెవెన్ థర్టీ అయ్యేటట్టుంది మీరు బోధ చేసారా లేదా ప్రభుజీ మీరు ఫోన్ చేసారా లేదా అని ఆలోచిస్తున్నాను ఇందాక నుంచి మాట్లాడుతున్నారా అని చూసారు మీరు ఉన్నారు ఇంకా అలాగే ఇంకా పెట్టామంటే ఇంకా వదలలేము కదా అలాగ పెట్టు కూర్చుని వింటూనే ఉన్నాను మా ప్రభుజీ నేను ఇద్దరు జనవరి సెకండ్ నుంచి అంటే అనుకుంటున్నాను భగవద్గీత రీడింగ్ క్లాస్ పెడదామని కొత్తగా చూడబోతున్నారు ప్రభుజీ అందరూ చాలా మంచిగా ముందుకు వస్తున్నారు టీచర్స్ గా ఎంత బాగా చెప్తున్నారు అసలు మీరు మీరు చూసి చెప్తే ఇంకా బాగుంటుంది స్టేటస్ లో పెట్టానా అందరు నాకు కాల్ చేసి అది అడుగుతున్నారు ఎప్పుడు చెప్తున్నారు వస్తున్నారా శ్రీహర్ష ప్రభుజి అని విష్ణు సహస్రనామాలు గ్రూప్ లో పెట్టారు బాతాజీ గ్రూప్ లో చూసి ఎవరో అందులో కూడా పెట్టాం ప్రభుజీ ఎక్కడ పడితే అక్కడ పబ్లిష్ చేస్తున్నాం క్లాస్ ఉందంటే మిస్ అయిన వాళ్ళంతా ఇక్కడ కనెక్ట్ అవుతారు ఎస్ మాధవి లత మాతాజీ మీరు అప్పటిదే హ్యాండ్ రైజ్ ఇప్పుడు చేస్తారా మళ్ళీ ప్రభుజీ మై డాటర్ వాంట్ ఆస్ వన్ క్వశ్చన్ యా వాట్స్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ డాటర్ మానియా మానియా Wow. What, what does that mean? I don't know. Oh, you should know the meaning of your name. Okay, yes. fine. Yes, you can you can ask the question, Manya. Yeah. How to control yeah. anger? How to, con- how to control anger? Okay. So, two things. Like, you know, if someone is angry on you, will you feel good or bad? Bad. 
bad so don't you think if you feel angry others will feel bad yes so will you enjoy if others will feel pain or suffer no no so then you should not be angry right okay. second if you are feeling angry means you think you are the boss okay are you the boss no no right so we are not boss so we are actually a small person isn't it so yes. even though we try to do some good things sometimes things go don't go as uh, as we planned mistake will happen some people will not like it anything can happen so we should know that you know only krishna can be the boss only he can be angry i cannot be angry you like krishna yes yeah so if you try to be krishna then only you will be angry Oops. if you feel like okay krishna is krishna i am his servant then you will not feel angry okay okay thank you thank you krishna hari krishna hari krishna prabhu ji thank you so much welcome mata ji okay so thank you so much everyone so we'll try to sing one kirtan and uh, i will close the session so recently i mean yesterday only i learned one song uh so you want me to sing that for the last 30 yes. participants yes sir so with the mercy of snigdha mata ji i got the lyrics of uh, damodara stotra and uh, uh, her audio only i heard and uh, i felt very nice so i just tried that yes sudevi mata ji uh, you wanted to say something sorry i i saw that you have unmuted actually um actually i i was a little busy because here in diana is 1 o'clock 1 pm oh 1 and, pm um, okay I, yes and i am at work but i oh. was um some of the topic are very interesting um but uh i guess food play a big part in this whole thing because food ha- controls the muscle memory yeah and it's in the tongue and um, i think from what you said if mm-hmm. we don't learn to control that we will be in trouble <laughs> so city means thought you have to know how to control that correct and then i find that when you are um, when you get to know krishna huh. your uh, and your third eye open is everything yeah. open your tongue your nose your face everything because right. i see a teacher with mahaprabhu mm-hmm. um when he was singing and dancing how we lie on this on the on the street uh, on mm-hmm. the tree make the tree his bed and i see he make when he sleep the whole, the tree five nature was like a palace for him he didn't have a physical house and um and i see one one at one point when one of his devotee was um, was troubled by that by a king he mm-hmm. um at his devotee one of his devotee was troubled by a king mm-hmm. and his the wife was abused and and because of the scream he went with his swadarshan chakradari and he he felt his words and had the king run in but then he said that the the person who you co- commit the offense you have to beg pardon so um so then look how he decided not to stay and he merged into krishna and gone at the end of the movie and it tells a lot that all your muscle in your in your in your brain because the intelligence come from all of that the complete um surrender is is not easy like what arjun did yeah yeah it's absolutely not an easy thing. if it's so easy we value. all would have done it <laughs> yeah family value is necessary and yeah. um and you have to know what you're doing because we create offense mm. so and that we can help it because of the food we eat it's not something we can help easily okay. absolutely mm. <laughs> anyhow i sent my number on on the whatsapp for you you okay. can um, you can send me that um the, sure, the, the, the i yes. I'll, i'll do that yeah thank you so much mataji hari krishna yeah hari krishna
माई नेम इज श्री हर्ष वैद्य मुखम करोति वाचालम पंगुम लंगायते गिरिम यत्कृपात महम वंदे श्री गुरुम दीनतारिणम परमानंद माधुम श्री चैतन्येश्वर सो दिस सॉन्ग इज रिटन बाय श्री लब्बेळव मंगळ ठाकुर अ आई विल जस्ट सिंग इट करार विंदेन पदार विंदम मुखार विंदे विनिवेशयन्तम वटस्य पत्रस्य पुटेशयानां बालं मुकुंदं मनसा स्मरामि बालं मुकुंदं मनसा स्मरामि श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा जिहवे पिब स्वामृत एक देव गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति वी विक्रे तु कामाखिल गोपकन्या मूरारी पादार्पित चित्तवृत्ति दध्यादिक मोहवशादोच गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति गृहे गृहे गोपवधुक सर्वे मिलित्वा समवाय योगे पुण्यानी पठन्ति नित्यं गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति सुखम शयाना निलये निजेपि नामानि विष्णो प्रवदन्ति मर्त्या ते निश्चितं तन्मयता वृजन्ति गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति जिहवे सदैव भज सुंदराणि कृष्ण से मनोहराणी समस्तभक्तानाशना गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति सुखावसाने ईदमे सारम दुखावसाने ईदमेव गेय देहावसाने ईदमेव जाप्यम गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति श्री कृष्ण राधा वर गोकुलेश गोपाल गोवर्धन नाथ विष्णु जिहवे पिब स्वामृत एक देव गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति जिहवे रसग्ने मधुर प्रियाव सत्यम हितम तां परम वदा आवर्ण ये था मधुराक्षरा गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति याचे मम दे जिहुवे समागते दंडधरे कृतांते वक्तव्यमे मधुर सुभक्त गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति 
गोविंद दामोदर माधवे ते हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे गोविंद दामोदर माधवे ते गोविंद दामो दर माधवे ते ंदेमान जय श्री हर्ष प्रभु जी की जय रियल सेशन वाज अमेजिंग प्रभु हरे कृष्णा यस निखिल प्रभु प्लीज ईट ऑन टाइम प्रभु यस प्रभु जी मेरे फर्स्ट बोन चेंडी पढ़ कर दे आये रारो गैस वाले तो उन्हीं मार करो जो लेक्चर चिवानी मैं अंदर नहीं लगा कोचे पे टेस्ट आर प्रभु जी मेरे स्पेल बोन जैसे आगे स्केल बोन स्पेल बोन कभ ंदोत्र